Welcome to Tempting Fate. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, uh, yeah, tonight we are doing um, the Halloween monster special that uh, y'all uh, earned as a reward last week. Uh, yes. It's called spooky, scary. A Night at Camp Death Kill. It's just spooky, scary. Um, <laughs> Wait, is this a spooky game? It might be. It might be. I don't know. I had um, no hints going into this that this was in any way spooky. No, it, maybe Camp Death Kill is a nice place. We'll find out. I mean, yeah, um, that sounds great. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, I will kill you. I'm sure everything here is fine. Uh, so, yeah, um, uh, we have uh, tonight uh, three of our regulars. Uh, Marquia McCarty, hey. Ray Vinny Domsey, and Sam DeLev. That's me. Um, unfortunately, Gina DeVivo cannot be here. Uh, don't worry, she's okay. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, will not be able to join us for this game. So, uh, you know, uh, sorry about that. But uh, uh, these these people will have it uh, more in, more than in hand, so everything will be great. Yeah, I'll and, play with you uh, anyway. Yeah, see? Uh, <laughs> they, they didn't walk out because no Gina. See, that's already a good sign. That's why I didn't walk out. Yeah. Um... So, yeah, uh, so a couple items to get through. First, uh, Tempting Fate logo t-shirts, now available at T-Shirt Spring. Uh, there is a, probably a command in the chat there uh, that will tell you uh, how to get those. Um, and uh, our uh, previous skins of the games we have played are uh, available uh, online in uh, the Tempting Fate room of the Saving Throw Discord. Uh, pretty much everything we've done so far, except Men in Black and Avatar, which uh, I'm a little behind, I will get out mm -hmm. soon. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Raider. <coughs> hey, and Strange Raider. Raider. Yay. Yay. And thank you also to Jeff. Yes. Thank yeah. you, Tatzelsesh, Strainer Raider, and Jeff. Uh, I think there's all those others. Yay. Um, all right, yeah, and uh, and thanks to John Harper, uh, who uh, designed Lasers and Feelings, uh, he and a bunch of other great games. Uh, yeah. Check them out on Twitter. Um, and uh, thanks to Dom and Saving Throw uh, for giving us this platform. And thanks to Rick Bear. Rick Bear! Um, our good friend Yay. who was uh, here playing Zacco last week uh, in Avatar and is now... Uh, behind the camera, uh, basically uh, working all this tonight. We love you, Graham. We love you, Rick. Nah. Rick is a <laughs> vampire. Um, so yeah, thank you, Rick. Thank you, Dom. Thank you, Saving Throw. And uh, uh, usually I go right into here talking about carrier penguins and uh, tears, but I'm just going to break off as I have been for a second in, in, in the last couple of weeks to say, please vote. Please. Go out and vote, and, uh, do and, vote. and you know, do vote. just do the do voting the thing. thing do a heckin' big vote. The vote. Yeah, uh, just. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Just go. Vote. Vote. Do it. Um, and now I will say, yeah, you all have been incredible with us all season, and, and uh, you've been fantastic uh, with donations, um, and your donations really are what keep the lights on here at Saving Throw and give us this platform and really keep us all going, so we are super grateful. Um, and tonight, so there are carrier penguins as usual. I see uh, a bunch of them have already gone. Uh, and um, uh, if you want to see today's official Carrier Penguin by our good friend Meaning of Night, uh, check it out on Twitter uh, at Tempting Fate RPG, or we have an Instagram now at Tempting Fate or whatever, Tempting Fate RPG on Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and all the things. And thank you, Meaning of Night. Uh, it is. It, it is. I really like this one this week. It's. It's almost kind of like a Mondo poster. I don't know. There's something. It really. It works for me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, check that out, and uh, and and you can buy a carrier penguin, and and then we've got some reward tiers as usual. So first uh, at uh, twenty five dollars tonight, uh, everyone's gonna start with one die, and oh. uh, at twenty five dollars we have be prepared, which will immediately unlock the player's uh, uh, second d six. Uh, you, you can have up to four if you're getting help in the game. We need um, it. So <laughs> uh, yeah, for tonight. Um, you're just starting with one, and Great. $25 unlocks the first die for everybody. Um, and uh, at $50, our players tonight, uh, tonight's a bit of a horror game in, in the tradition. Oh, wow, smoke wow, tears. Wow, wow, yes, five by five. Thank you. That, <laughs> that opens up the first two tiers. Wow, thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you. Yay. Or the first character to die? Like, is an what? NPC going to die in order for us to get the second die? Um, Ooh. Maybe. Kill, 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 uh, kill. No. So Take yeah, so that's so now everyone starts with second D six, and uh, everyone starts uh, that unlocks Armed and Dangerous, the fifty dollar tier, uh, which is uh, you your characters who are camp counselors. Uh, this this game is uh, a night at camp, death kill. It's kind of in the Friday the Thirteenth mall. There's a creepy murder camp, and everyone's a counselor at the camp. 
Um, and uh, your counselors will find a stash of weapons that are <gasps> conventional weapons. They they don't work on everything, you know. It's okay, like, okay. This isn't like you know your your kill Jason kind of weapon. But okay, like, cool. You know, on on your on your average beasties and trouble kind of weapons. Great. Um, and uh, if we get to the next tier, which is seventy five dollars. Uh, thank you, both of you again. Um, but we get to summer loving. Uh, which is every player will quickly invent an NPC love interest for their character. Uh, and, um, you know... Oh, God. Oh God. And it's a horror Sam movie. Need help. So, you know, anything could happen there. Um, uh, and, uh, and, and then... Is, at, is this set in the real I world? Know. Can it be like there are fish people? It's our greatest <laughs> challenge. Um, can there be fish people? Oh. Are like... No, you know. no, it's 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 oh. gonna be like another counselor or or, right. or, or like a townie or something. I'll work on that. You know? Okay, I'll work on that. Um, uh, but yeah, no, for 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 this side of things, yes, it's a, it is a human love interest. Uh, oh my God, Dark and <laughs> ah, Nate, thank you. And there you go. Yeah. So yeah. There we go. Is, uh, on the table. So get thinking about oh, it. Oh God. Uh, okay. okay. Chaos taking okay. wheel. Chaos. Um, yes. <laughs> Chaos off yeah. to a good start tonight. Um, thank you, Dark and Nate. Uh, and uh, if we get to a hundred dollars, which is now the next tier, uh, the enemy is us. See, um, I, I had uh, see C Camp Death Kill. Uh, it, it has three monsters that sort of haunt it. Three sort of legendary monsters, and uh, I had the players make up secondary. What? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh. That, that, there, that's unlocking that. Wow! Thank you. Thank um, you. <laughs> So what that does is, yeah, um, that wow. unlocks... Get ready for Scoopy. Yeah, yeah. everybody's second character. Uh, so oh, now what we will, have is a, we will have a fully dedicated B story later in the game where okay. we will see things from the monster's perspectives and everyone Beast will... Beast story. Beast story. Beast story. Beast story. Wow. And the monster's perspective. Sam puns also off to a great start tonight. Uh, thank you, LaSalle. Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so that is the enemy of us. Uh, the enemy is us. So that's... Uh, that, that, that... Uh, thank you for the sub, uh, Tentacle Maid Studios. Um, and, uh, the, so now the next one is $150 if we get to that. Uh, like a boss. Everybody gets their third D6. Um, thank you for the sub, uh, designation, <gasps> Sweet Berry. Baby. <laughs> Good job. Um, and if we get, uh, that's, yeah, so $150 is like a boss, and that unlocks everybody's third D6. And if we get to $200, uh, that's Evolutions. Which is that everybody's monster character? Oh my God! Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! I don't. That, oh that might Everyone be like a boss. I don't know. I can't. Oh, Bear oh will let God. me know. Like Thank you, BK Right. Thank you, everybody. Um. So yeah, if we get to two hundred, that's evolutions. Uh, the monster characters. Uh, that everybody that are now unlocked. Um, they will get a Pokemon style evolution. So what? In the game where Ooh. they will get to sort of up their they powers. Their scary factor. Um, oh, I'm going even more awesome. But, but, you have to earn it. See, you're going to have to ask the Magic 8-Ball for permission. Whoa. The Magic 8-Ball can say, yes. Yeah. Oh, strange. Oh, hey. right oh, I think that's an order That's. I think that's an that does we order, you think? I think so. Oh, my because God. 5 plus 6 and then a 9. Sam, Sam's good with the math. I'm not good with the math. Ooh, um, boy. Use my calculator. Yeah, so... For evolutions, you will have to ask the Magic 8-Ball. The Magic 8-Ball can say yes, it can say ask again, or it could say no. And if it says no, I'm sorry, you don't get your evolution. Okay. Right uh, then. If it says, uh, guess, you know, try again, you can try again. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, ooh, so and tough. And if you, if you get it, then you just get it. So it's like, yes. The real horror. Um, I know. <laughs> our Magic 8-Ball's a little weird, so you kind of got to, like, let it... No, I'm all about really, it. Really, really well. We're it's all a magic great ball to me. Yeah. Aww. Well, I love it better than the eight ball. Magic eight ball will hang out here with uh, Denobo. <laughs> with the eight ball yeah. shaped penguin. Yeah. No, I mean, no. they'll be friends. It's like, look, they almost I ship look, it. Perfect. They almost look I ship it already. <laughs> yeah. um, Buddy. So that unlocked like a boss. So wow, we're just starting off. Everyone's got their 3D6. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, so yeah, Evolutions um, is next. Oh, and then yeah, $250. The highest tier tonight is uh, Big Bad. The characters will be given the chance to confront the ultimate evil behind Camp Death Kill. And that goes whether or not they wow. wind up ultimately as monsters or counselors or Are we not going to fight young? Rick Bud? Bud? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not me. Um no, I'm not I'm not not with it. I mean within the game. Is it other Rick? Rick. Grandpa. Well, that I can't swear. <laughs> 
Maybe. <laughs> a bear in the woods. Is it Rick time? Um, well, is it bear time? That's what happens Rick if we rolling? get yeah if we get past two hundred and fifty dollars tonight. Usually he, we have time tonight. Us? It's bear right, time. It's bear that's time. What I which could include anything. Bears, perhaps. I don't know. You know, it's it's up to bear. Bear let bears. us know. He's already got like kind of that weird evil smile. Going. Body bear bears. Um. So yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So hard. He's instantly oh, just like, as scary yeah. as Dom. <laughs> it's, we were at this party yeah. last it's night and I love bangs it. And like it, it just it is peak Rick aesthetic. Like he was born to have bangs. It's always the quiet he, ones. It's like chuckling uh, over there. Or rape. Right. It's always the quiet ones or rape. Right. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Add that on my tombstone. Um. So yeah, as always, subs get to give people uh, players rerolls, and we got a couple to give out. Uh, Tatzel, uh, Tatzel gives a reroll to Sarah. Thank you. Yay. And Strangely Raider uh, gives a reroll to me. Thank you, Strangely Raider. Ooh, we see, uh, we yeah, see no, you. That is, that is that is good for conflict, good for story. I've learned don't here. feed the trolls. Uh, <laughs> don't feed the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. And Jeff, Jeff M O three O seven sends a uh, uh, reroll to Gravity. Whoa! Hey, thank you. And uh, Designation Thanks. Sweet Baby sends a reroll to Sam. Thank you, Sweet um, Baby. Um, so those are the ones we have to give out so far, and uh, we have some left over from last week. Mm -hmm. So there are, I think, um, including the ones that would have been Genus tonight, ten rerolls in the pot there, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I had. Four, so now mm -hmm. I have five, and you have. I had two. Two, so now you have two plus uh, four. Okay. Two plus two. Cool. So those are the re rolls, and uh, thank you everybody for the subs. Um, and uh, we'll do the carrier penguins later. I think that gets all the business out of the way for now. Um, oh, well, actually, goodness. real quick, just, you know, I just want to step uh, before we get into this to say, you know, this is kind of the, the the season finale. Um, it's like we will be back next week to do the vast special, but this is like the last, you know, regular I'm cast, ready. regular game. Uh, this has been an awesome season. Thank it's you all. It's been so good. Um, and thank you all. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, um, let's do this. Uh, a night at Camp Death Kill. Um, the game we play here is Lasers and Feelings, which created by John, Har John Harper. And the way it works is uh, every character uh, takes a number which represents where they land on a scale uh, from what tonight we are calling uh, analytics to instincts. Um, and uh, you, if you have a high number, five, uh, then uh, you're, uh, you're an analytics character, which means you're good at technology and science and cold rationality, kind of Mr. Spock stuff. Uh, and a low number means you're better at instinct uh, things. You're an instinctual <coughs> character, so you, you're better at intuition and diplomacy and seduction and wild, passionate action, kind of Kirk or Bones, I don't know what this is. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and then whenever something is in doubt, I'll call for a roll, and I'll tell you if you're using your uh, your analytics or your instincts, and if you're using your analytics, you want to roll under your number, and if it's your instincts, you want to roll over your number. And because <laughs> of the generosity of the audience already, uh, you will roll, you know, one die if it's just any regular task, two if it's something you're prepared for, three if it's something you're an expert at, and four if you're getting help. Help rules work exactly the same. If you help somebody, just call out what you want to do before. If... Uh, if you successfully help them, they get an extra die. If you don't, you can't hurt them at all. They just don't get help. Um, mm -hmm. And if uh, none of your die succeed, uh, it goes wrong and things get worse. If one of your die succeed, you barely manage a cost. Uh, and uh, to succeed, you get the job done. Good job. And uh, if three succeed, you get a critical success and you get some kind of extra bonus or success with style or whatever. Um, and if you roll your number exactly tonight, you get what we are calling Ask the Weird Old Groundskeeper. Um, <laughs> every horror movie like this has a weird old groundskeeper who just seems to know things and give people <clears throat> warnings and, you know, and, and... Don't go up that road, said Old Man Jenkins. <laughs> yep, yeah, Old Man Jenkins is, yeah, he just sort of, whenever you have a question, he just sort of seems to be somehow yeah. looming in a nearby shadow and is uh. ready to answer you. Um, so, yeah, and uh, those are the rules. I think that's everything. Uh, yeah, and um, so for tonight, every player was asked to create two characters, both a counselor at the camp and a monster, which is now already unlocked, uh, and that's kind of awesome. And, uh, and if we get to 200, we'll get some kind of evolution. So, real quick, let's meet our six characters um so we'll, we'll start here uh with the counselors uh ravity uh is playing ash um he is a three which makes him instinctual ish 
uh, his uh, personality, uh, he's a neurotic acting instructor. He's the camp, you know, he's the counselor mm -hmm. who puts on plays and, you know, what, what's the summer play this year? Uh, summer play this year is Macbeth. And I've been telling everyone that, like, if they say the word Macbeth in theater, something <laughs> fucked up is going to happen. And so, like, Scottish play, that's all we're calling it. Wow. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's intense. But you know what? Acting is survival. And survival is acting. And, like, this is just, like, what we're going to do. Okay. Um, nope. Yeah. No. 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 This, and we're gonna win the fucking color award this year. Can confirm. Strong but legit <laughs> pick for Kitty Theater. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, um. He his uh he has a U.S. Army uh survival manual. Um. Uh, oh, heart of handprints. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. You um. Yeah. We have a we have I have a U.S. Uh, Army man survival Army manual. And uh, it's really interesting. On the back it says, it teaches you how to overcome the desire for comfort, recognize the onset of dangerous passive outlook, tolerate pain, use the word survival as a mnemonic device, and so much more. It literally says that. And so much more at the end. An exclamation point. Snake. I love it. And clean the snake. It's fan fucking yeah, All stuff that is going to come in handy today. Yes. And uh, I gave a copy so of this to yeah. all the children in my acting class. Oh, by the way, that, very uh, uh, thanks yeah. to Heart of Handprints, that unlocks the evolutions. Yay! Uh, so really, there's just the big bad left, Ooh. and then we're in bear time. Oh. <laughs> bear time. Scary bear! I don't know. We, have, see, we already had a killer care bear earlier this season, you know, in, in the carrier penguins game. Oh, it's a scare bear! Yeah, a scare bear. Yeah, wow, it's Sam just... <laughs> Hashtag Sam puns, let us know. Smoke beard! Six six six. Yes, 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 yes. Chaos. yes. Yep, chaos for sure. Get in the chaos mood. Chaos is on the board uh, in a big way. Uh, thank you, Smoke Beard. Thank you, everybody. Um, so yeah, so that is Ash, and uh, uh, he's uh, a wannabe cryptozoologist, and he runs the campus radio station. Yep. Um, and uh, Markia here uh, is uh, Lillian Everhart. Lily, uh, I think uh, she likes to be called. She's yeah. a two, um, which makes her an instinctual character. Uh, she is a uh, daring dance instructor. She's the camp uh, dance instructor. What yes. what kind of dance are, are, are they teaching at, uh, at camp this year? We teach God's dance, which is modern. Modern, okay. Yes, okay. because everyone can move to modern. There you go. I prefer the classics. And modern dancer can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we like to have everybody become a part of the dance with us. Since not everyone can do ballet. Ballet. Oh. Lily, the dance instructor. Uh, the daring dance instructor, sorry. Um, and uh, Lily... See, there, there is a legend that... Oh, th Thunder Coverage, thank you for the oh. bitch. <laughs> six, six, six. Oh, six, six. getting into the spirit wow. of the holiday <laughs> over here. Seeing a theme develop. Mm -hmm. I'm all about it. I'm all um, about it. It's hot, I'm guess, sure it will persist. We're not going to see it anymore from this point onward. Um, I feel very confident. Okay, you've got to find a way to... Yeah, it's a, okay. Um, so, yeah, so there is a legend that somewhere in the vicinity of Camp Death Kill, there is, uh, a lost gold mine. And I will find it, and, and because I am destined to, in fact, that's the reason why I'm even here at camp, that and to spread the And to win the rest. color war, we need you. Uh, what? <laughs> Uh, Ash very interested in winning the color one. Yes, um, it's gonna happen. So yeah, um, uh, uh, Lily has a collapsible bow staff. I'm very proficient. Holy shit, it. that's amazing! I taught oh, myself. They're terrifying. That. I'll tell you all about them <laughs> later. I have so a they, friend with one. Pops it out. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, that's, that's and really cool. uh, an antique lace shawl given to her by her grandmother. Yes, my grandmother said it was blessed, but I found that not to be true so far. That's amazing. And Sam is playing Rory. They are a Hello. five, which makes them an analytical character. And, uh, oh, wow, Dark of Nate. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <that's>, uh... <laughs> Halloween. Ooh. Um, and, uh, yeah, Rory is a cowardly archery instructor. Cowardly is a strong word. Um... <laughs> Okay, currently a strong word. Rory is a word. comically cautious archery instructor. Um, and uh, their goal is to stay alive, which... So far, so good. Yeah, it's hard to argue with. Um, it's as far as goals go. Um, and Rory, yeah, is very accomplished as the runner-up uh, state champion um, uh, in archery. Uh, and... Um, I'm sure that will have lots of 
crossover yeah. skills in any sort of situation. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll just leave very, this as history know. stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so those are their their counselor characters, uh, and yeah, and like I said, there are some legendary monsters that live in the vicinity of Camp Deathkill, and uh, sure those. Those monsters, uh... No, that's oh, very Lysel, true. Thank you. Lysel, Lysel. Is that some kind of vote for order, do we think? Um, uh, I think it's, a, it's probably rounding things for, to no. a point. No? Uh, I'm just going by the ones place. Oh, okay. uh, six times four. Uh, it ends in a four right now. All right, let's see. <laughs> they do numbers, I don't do numbers. Um, the next one would be orderful, I think. So mm. so we'll go in the reverse order now. Um, uh, the first uh, monster we're going to meet is Sam's monster. Their monster is... Uh, Anathiel. 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 Like anathema. Oh, okay. Anathiel. Um, Anathiel is a two, which makes them a very instinctual monster. Uh, <laughs> and they are a brutal demon. That is their personality. Um, their goal is to kill a pure-hearted soul. And um, how much should I tell you about this demon? Well... You know, they, they have been trapped for a very long time, and uh, they are now unleashed. And I th think that's enough. We'll let the rest of it come out during the game. Uh, but Anathel. Uh, oh, and uh, thank you for the uh, sub, uh, uh, Fire, Fire Red Lily. Um, thank you, everybody. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and uh, that, um, the next one. Hey, Dark of Nath, thank you again. <laughs> Keeping it chaos. Keeping it Keepin six, chaos. specifically. Keeping it six. Okay. All right. Okay. Keeping it sexy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Marquia, uh, uh, her monster is uh, Mrs. Faces. Mrs. Faces is a five, which makes her an analytical monster, and she's like a sneaky, like, uh, genie, like a, you know, like a <laughs> gin kind of character. Um, and uh, uh, her goal is, uh, well, she, she's got a... She's got a treasure hoard somewhere in the vicinity, and uh, she wants to get it back. Um, oh, goodness. I, I I see you. Yeah. I strongly approve. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm high. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Mrs. Faces, um, how much should I tell you about Mrs. Faces? Uh, Mrs. Faces removes and collects the faces of her victims and uh, <laughs> then wears them, uh, transforming uh, her uh, into that person and making, and so she can act like them. So anybody could be Mrs. Faces, who knows? Maybe that'll... A friend's a changeling. Perhaps. Um, and um, Mrs. Faces. And Bravity uh, is uh, the hide behind. Uh, the hide behind is a five, which makes her uh, analytical. Um, her personality is she is a creepy slasher, um, and uh, the hide behind wants to be the best monster, um, and uh, they're <laughs> they're not sure what that means exactly, um, and uh, I'll figure it out. They've got a big knife because they're a slasher. Uh, she, uh, she's a slasher. He. He's a slasher. Uh, the hide behind, uh, he has a big knife because he is By the a time slasher. you get to find out, you're dead. Very <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Well, t what, t tell, tell us a little about the hide behind's power. So, the hide behind has this great power. Um, well, first of all, they're very interested in disemboweling everything. So, that's uh, something y'all get to look forward to. Um, but what makes the hide behind so special is that they can hide behind physically any object. So it doesn't matter how big, doesn't matter how small, they will find a way to hide behind it. And <laughs> where did uh, Sam go? Where did Sam go? Where did Sam go? I, I kind of love that. Where did yeah. I go? I like that. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, yeah. we have three people. It uh, doesn't matter the size, they can hide behind it. Um, they are usually, you, you hear it, you hear them coming, kind of like a shudder in the wind. So um, you'll hear me make a little bit of a sound every time. And it you seems to me... I'm sure it's just the wind. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I'm um, sure it's just the wind. Yeah. Uh, uh, Shudder in the behind. wind. That's the Elton John song about the hide behind. Uh, yeah. yeah um, so, uh, so yeah, those are the three monsters and the three Love counselors. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, real fast, Fire Red Lily sends uh, their reroll to Sam Liv. Thank you. Um, and we have unlocked the $250 big badge. <gasps> so that is all the tears. It's bear time? Yeah, we're into bear time. Thank wow. you so much, everybody. Um, oh, awesome. I don't know what's going on in bear time. I see Rick He's smiling. sort of smiling and kind of yeah. trying focused. to do 12 things at once. Super yeah. focused. Oh, um, dear. 
But thank you, everybody. Uh, and yeah, and now we are off um, to Camp Deathkill. And uh, so, yeah, like, let me tell you a little bit about Camp Deathkill. Uh, Camp Deathkill is in a state. And um, way back in the day, it was camp called Camp Murder Lake. Um, and uh, yeah, and, you know, there were slashers and monsters and killings and... They decided to change the name of the camp. And rebrand. Yeah, to and something they decided nicer. to rebrand to something yeah. nicer. So got better branding irons. <laughs> camp Murder Lake became Camp Death Kill. Um, and uh, we are now at Camp Death Kill in the present today. I mean, well, I guess during the summer, but, you know, modern mm -hmm. times. Uh, and um, it is it is a picturesque sleepaway camp. It has two beautiful lakes, and uh, it is nestled between, uh, like, a, a ring of mountains, uh, and there are there are woods surrounding the camp, and, you know, it's, it's a lot of environments, uh, uh, and it's got, uh, I would say, you know, 200 campers or so, um, and uh, there are, you know, I mean, if you've been to sleepaway camp, bunks that are housing, I don't know, eight to ten kids each, each each bunk has a counselor, and then during the day they they play they play sports, they go do arts and crafts and activities, they they learn to act. Uh, and they survive. Learn, and and survive. And and they do there's and they go to the radio station. Yeah, they're, they're in opposition. Um, and they learn archery and they learn dance. Uh, and so you know it's yeah. it, it is a pretty nice place you know um, it, it, you know and um, except all the murders and stuff um, <laughs> and you know right so Camp Death Kill yes has its its new branding uh, and uh, uh, the owner of the camp um, uh, his name is uh, Steve Murder Lake. Um, he, uh, he, Bill he, Steve. Yeah, Steve Murder Lake. Um, he he welcomes you to camp on the first day. Um, the title's figurative, it won't literally be a thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, and the first day of camp, um, yeah, you roll in on these big school buses with a bunch of other counselors, and, uh, kids are coming in, and people are saying goodbye to their parents, and, uh, you are sort of being said, you know, sort of rounded up, uh, taken, taken away from the kids and kind of given your instructions and your assignments and stuff like that, and, uh, and, and Stephen Murder Lake sort of eventually comes on over and he says, Hey! Uh, welcome to Camp Murder, uh, sorry, Camp Death Kill, trying to get used to the new brand, um, uh, but yeah, Camp Death Kill, remember, say it a lot, we want people, we really want to break the continuity, uh, with You murder. got it, yeah. I'm gonna brand everything with Camp Death Kill, this is gonna be the best camp ever, that Camp Death Kill. That would be a problem for me, I constantly reinvent myself through dance. Oh, excellent, excellent, I like dance, I love, I'm, I'm a big dance guy. Uh, and dance likes you. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, and I'm assuming you're all you got name tags on that identify you, so he knows who you are and, and so on. And uh, he he says, uh, well, uh, you you will each uh, have your assignments, and you'll each be watching a group of kids. Uh, so you know, go out there and do us proud. Um, now listen, I know you have probably heard whisperings, rumblings, warnings that there's a prophecy that says this summer is going to be the bloodiest summer ever. Yes, there are entire forums about that. Yes, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. But frankly, I think this is the year we get lucky. You know, we're bound to catch a break after a while. We haven't in a long time. It's gonna be the best year ever. Yeah, so yeah. I have foregone, you know, the, the normal security precautions, and I think it, it is okay that you, the counselors, are just responsible for taking care of and protecting the kids should anything go wrong. But I don't think it will. So I'm going to teach those kids how to survive, sir. I like that attitude, kind of. Um, yeah, I will teach okay. them survival through movement of the body and with their own bow staffs. I'll, I'll mostly be teaching them archery at a target. Yes! Um, yes. you know, that actually reminds me, uh, there is a shed I should show you, uh, it's, it's come with me, uh, you, you two might as well come along also, and he, and he you know, he, he takes you, uh, what we'll say, a short, a short way down the road, uh, to where you find a bunch of archery targets set up, this looks like it's gonna be your range, um, and there is a work shed there, uh, uh, it's evil dead. Um, and, uh, and he says, okay, this is the work shed, uh, in the work shed, uh, there is, uh, stuff that you're gonna need, and he 
takes out a bunch of keys and he fiddles with them for a little bit and he opens up there's this like rusty old master lock and Vincent kind of gets it open it takes him a while uh and he, he takes it off and he's like man the thing's getting old and he opens up the shed and he says this is where we keep the real arrows uh, oh fantastic yes um please make sure you thank you for the sub Please make sure you do not uh, shoot anybody with real arrows or let anybody shoot each other uh, with real arrows. Oh, certainly not. I never shot another person in my life. That's abominable. Perfect. Who would ever do such a thing? I don't even have the skills for that, quite frankly. It's incredibly different than shooting at a target. Ah, the hiring people did a great job this year. See, I told you, I think I think this is our year. Everything's just going to go right for us now. <laughs> oh, and, uh, you. thank you, uh, uh, Marimo, for, uh, uh, for the... Yeah. There appears yep. to be a number of other things in this shed. Uh, might we look around? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to make you roll for this because this is an unlock. So you, you go inside and inside the shed. Um, <laughs> there really is uh, there there is a uh, there you know a case of arrows uh, yes. and there are bundles of them, so a lot of arrows, uh, mm -hmm. enough to teach you know lessons to a bunch right. of kids who are going to um, miss very often. And there is an axe and a chainsaw. And Great. All I'm kinds sure we of, could use these in the play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, all kinds of, like a machete, you know, that's you know, for like a clearing yeah. brush. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Um, I love how this cuts through the air. I would want to use this with my students so that they will know that their body should cut through like the wind. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, we, we tend to keep I the shall weapons take locked. This. Um, I'm daring. Okay. I'm really glad uh, everyone here is prepared for whatever may come. I'll tell you what. Roll, roll a. Uh, roll, can let's take the machete. Roll here again. Take the machete. Uh, yes. <laughs> roll an instinctual roll to see if you can convince him to let you take this stuff uh, in, in, in general. Um, is an instinctual roll. Assist? You want to roll over your number. Uh, your you, uh, Lily. You're a daring dance instructor. Well, you're an instinctual character, so. And I have a bow staff, so I'm used to handheld weapons of all kinds. All right, you can roll two. People. <laughs> I uh, love it. <laughs> I'm roaring. Oh, that's two I'm successes. Not. They're both sixes, which means nothing. Okay, you oh, well, no, can. <laughs> you can take the machete for, but for dance I take purposes two machetes. only. Yeah. One for each hand. Yeah. Okay, but for dancing purposes only. Of course, life is dance. Got my eye on you. Not literally. You should I always have your eyes on me. Everyone should. Uh, <laughs> I think that this chainsaw could add a lot of production value to the play uh, for Macbeth. Um, I think that there's some good foley work Did to be done. Did they have chainsaws? No, but there's a lot of... Uh, there's, because... I, I think it can really add the tension that is necessary to a lot of those scenes. We're doing a very modern... <laughs> Interpretation. Oh, I saw production like this in the West End. Yes. Very nice. I love modern interpretation. I've never been to the West End. All right, Ash. You, you can roll. Uh, you can roll two also. Yeah. Uh, your instinctual wish character. Your number three. You want to roll over your number. Um, I got one old man Jenkins. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah. What's so he's he's sort of okay. You can have the chainsaw, but no gas. No gas. Right, because it's only one success, so it's, you know. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make it work. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to survive. And, and he's like, and, uh, and and then all of a sudden, just from the back of the shed, you hear a voice, you know, going like, hello, I'm old man Jenkins. And, like, this old <laughs> caretaker old walks Jenkins. out and he says, oh, it's just easier that way. That's what people call me. <laughs> Yeah. Have you just been locked in here? Oh, I come and go from here and there, you know. Uh, do you have any questions? Um, yes. How How were the children killed last year? Oh, well, so many ways. Um, <laughs> la uh, last year, um, uh, uh, let, let, let's see. Um, there was slashing and clashing and bashing. And <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And and, 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 and and he breaks into a song. Yeah, yes. let's, let's make it an imaginary musical. Yes. Um, and old man Most Jenkins. Most awful murder of all. <laughs> uh, yes, and he, uh, and, and he gets to, um, have you heard the, the hide behind who comes out from behind stuff and kills kids? Uh, it's really a very scary monster. 
I have heard of the hide behind. Are you saying the hide behind is real? I knew it. I knew it. They yes. said. The hide behind killed a whole bunch of kids. We went looking for them, but it's hiding behind something, so we couldn't find it. But but no, it's is it it's true that it's a special stories. weapon that you That's need all. to to kill the hide behind? Well, he's gone because you didn't roll your number. Dang. So uh, <laughs> old, old man Jenkins is just gone. Um, and, uh, and oh, by the way, um, uh, Miss Roy. Hello. Hey, yeah. Miss Roy sends a reroll to me. Thank you, Miss Roy. Ooh. Another person who understands what builds good okay. storytelling. Oh, um, yeah. Instinct. Instinct. Uh, I actually instinct. Lily grabs some of the flag football things and wraps them around it. She wants to decorate the machetes. So she uses fabric and she decorates this like this nice trailing. So it's That's like half machete, artistic. half like ribbon? Yeah. yeah. I think Was maybe it? we should collaborate on this production of the Scottish play. I think that adding a um, a dance number is really going to take us to the next level. I think that dance always takes things to the next level. Yeah. And I concur. And yeah, we're going to win. They won't expect it. Out, out dance spot and then suddenly musical number. I think it'd be brilliant. I always I felt this. there should be more dancing in Macbeth. I thought so. Just call it the Scottish play. Let's not let's not encourage that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not superstitious. I'm. I don't very believe in, in in the Macbeth curse, and I don't believe in that silly. Did prophecy you just not hear old man Jenkins? Blood will rain this summer. What? Do you not hear old man Jenkins? Apparently, people were dying last. That summer. That was last summer. You're living in the past, kid. We're all good now. You're you're thinking at Camp Murder Lake. This is Camp Death Kill, where technically nobody's been killed yet, as far as I know. Yeah, right. Uh, right. So and it seems reasonable to me. Very yeah. clean Yelp reviews. All right. So on that, he he takes you out and he he locks up the shed again with the last the old lock and he gives the key uh, squarely to you, uh, Swery. Um Since I do need this for the archery lessons, which I indeed. And uh, yeah, and he says, uh, okay. Um, all right, I, I, I think that's that's about all I need to tell you. Are there any questions last minute, anything you need, any issues, any great? No, okay. I'm sure everything's going to be terribly straightforward and uh, we won't need any questions yeah. and there won't be any trouble at all. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Everything's going to be great. Oh, it'll be awesome. <sighs> it's going to be awesome here at Camp Death Kill. Absolutely. Yes. yes. And if you have a surplus supply of leather, then we can utilize that for the play and also for my students. Yes. And I was thinking there's a way to incorporate stage combat as well. I think I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Oh, that's that's terribly dangerous. You can't draw an arrow anywhere near. I a think if person, we're going to win, you can harm them inadvertently. That's why the most important thing that we're going to be teaching in archery this risks. year is how to be safe and never ever injure another being. I mean, that's what stage combat classes are for, right? Is to make sure that everyone is safe. But I really think it would up our production value as well. I'm going to teach my students to dance on fire. That's amazing. Mm. Let's put that in the play. Uh, see, that I seems like really the appropriate, low-risk kind of behavior. Much more appropriate to a theater production. Dancing through fire, much safer than having a drawn range weapon on stage. All right, kids, have a great summer. <laughs> Keep an eye on the campers, and just remember you signed a liability waiver. Uh, and on that, he just sort of heads down the road, kind of, you know, really happy that everything seems to be going his way. Those American liability waivers really are I mean, oh, yeah, quite they're, comprehensive. They're... <laughs> right. It says a lot about them. Um, not only can you not sue them if you or somebody that you know or love dies, but apparently you cannot haunt them either. I didn't realize hmm. that was a thing that you could put into a, um, as a clause in a contract. I just signed it. I mean, it must be right below the act of God and that sort of thing. Right, and, right. And while you're standing there, you just kind of you hear the wind blowing through the trees, and you sort of look around, and everything's kind of nice. And then mm. you think you hear just kind of like the sound of, like, cackling, like, kind of... <laughs> oh, someone's happy out there. Oh, any uh, crackers arrived. Yeah, yeah, shouldn't mm. there be children? Those are probably the children. Oh, nice. I like that they're already probably. filled with the spirit of life. They're going to need it. For the play. Yes. Um, Shall we go back to one of our cabins and toast the fact that we are starting a new summer? Absolutely. Of course. All right, yeah. Um, and uh, we will say that, right, you are in this, you know, there's the archery range and it is by that field where you sort of first showed up and all those buses let you off. 
And uh, then uh, there are, you know, there are the two, these two lakes in the middle of the camp. And uh, say half of the bunks are on one side and half of the bunks are on another, you know, just sort of surrounding the lake. Uh, and uh, we'll say, we'll say you're all, you know, you each have your own bunk, uh, which, you know, are separate from each other. Um, and... Uh, yeah, and you go back and you meet your kids, and uh, we, we will say, you know, they are your typical mix of, you know, lovable and bratty and uh, wonderful and horrible, and, um, and yeah, you, you want, you, you know. Hello, yeah. small children. Hello. I'm Counselor Rory. You're going to have fun, fun, fun. And we're going to win this year. I'm Counselor Ash, and we're going to be the best camp out there. What are what are our colors? Our colors? Yeah, it's a color where you're excited. I'm so about proud one. you asked. What is your name? Um, my name is uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're now Macbeth. There you go. Casting done. Oh, uh, Jimmy takes risks, and in mission. this world, we need to take risks. Everyone. Hooray! It was the part I was born to play. Yeah. Um, yes, ignore, and, ignore this chainsaw that I'm holding, Jimmy. Um, and everyone, I'm Counselor Lily. I will be the one that shows you how to really embody your body. Well, I have a question. Yes. What does that mean? That means that you will no longer be awkward in your own skin, for I will teach you how to love the rhythm that is with that, with it. Oh. Um, I have bad news about adolescence. All right, who needs to pee? <laughs> okay, hang on. So, um, you know what? Ev everybody make an instinct roll. Okay. You can each, since it's your first day as a counselor, you can each roll one. Uh, you want to roll over your number, uh, and this can see like how how well you won over the kids. How they Perfect. Thank it's you. above or below her number. That's a gift. gift. Sorry, I can't remember instinct. Uh, instinct, you want to roll over your number. Okay. Your, your number yes. is three. So it's one success for me. One success for you. Rory, oh, not a success. failure. Uh, and Such success. That is, yes. yeah, uh, Thank that is you. a big success. So Gift. you two, you know, the kids seem to like you, and you, the kids. They, they sense the doormat within? I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> shocked, I say, that they can smell blood in their water. So, so to speak. Naturally. So, so to speak, yeah, absolutely. Of course, um, of course. And and yeah, um, and, and we'll say like the first the first couple of days of camp start going by, and mm -hmm. uh, it's it's okay. Um, you you two find you're getting along with the kids. You 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 know they're they're all into your production. Uh, little Jimmy is a huge boon, helping helping the others fall Love in it. line for the for the dance Macbeth uh, musical. Yeah. They're uh, really good with the machetes. They're so good, and the yeah. fire. It's wax. gonna be great. Well, I, I coated it in wax, and then once they get very, very good at it, I'll break the wax off, and then they'll have the sharp machete. Wow. Yeah. I appreciate it's that. Good Levels, stages, so make it work up. They always will simply melt. Yeah, that really. Go. It'll I... melt when they dance with the fire. Mm. How they much? Win. God, how, much, how much of a cheer do we need to get Martina to really put on a dancing, <laughs> flaming, machete <laughs> <shaming, laughs> Beth production? Um, <laughs> More. More. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, and and you're not having such a great time. You know, you, you keep taking the kids up there to, to, to do archery, and, uh, you, you know, you're starting them off with, uh, like, those foam-tipped arrows, and every time you turn around, they all, like, shoot you with the foam-tipped arrows. Yeah, uh, and they keep running onto the range, which I tell them they're not supposed to do. I'm very worried that one of them might get hurt if they continue with this sort of behavior. Yeah, and that just makes them do it more. They just kind of love trolling you and, you know, I mean... I, I don't understand why. I, I was always a, a very well-behaved child. I don't understand why they can't just... There, there are some small recompenses, of course. There's, um... Have all of you met uh, the swimming instructor, the lifeguard? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Kelly. Kelly. Mm. Such a vibrant spirit. She's very nice. She seems pretty cool. And you have something for Kelly. <laughs> do you have... I'm, I'm sorry? Do you have a tender spot, in your, tender spot in your heart for Kelly? Oh, that, that would be terribly inappropriate and Why? a violation of the counselor counselor relationship. I couldn't possibly... No matter how I think if you nice want, she what smells. What color are her eyes? Blue. 
Mm. I think if you want something, you should go for it. Oh, I, I couldn't possibly. That'd be terribly forward. I want, I want to ensure that she is Gotta respected as a professional in her field of swimming instruction. You can respect somebody in their field and then also get that body. <laughs> Being as I am English, I have no earthly <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Um, show Kelly your interests, but don't um, intrude on her professional boundaries. All right, that that's a thing that that's very smart advice. Mm. I can do if I I've can had a lot of partners. Use words. Does someone at this camp catch your eye? Well, yes. I do have a particular soft spot in my heart for Legacy Evans. It's the camp mechanic. Very brawny and has some brains. Am I? It's a very nice mix. And he writes poetry. It's an artistic side. I've heard him cat. recite it in the shower. Wow. Some people say. So you've been watching him in the shower? I wasn't watching. I thought I heard him because I hear just about everything. All right. He's a type of music in this world that I have not run into before. And you want to dance with him? Oh, yes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, you might get your chance because it is a couple of nights <laughs> later and it is the night of the big dance. Uh, and it's not like the big, big dance, but it's like the first summer dance. Yeah, uh, no, where, they have one you know, per week. Yeah, 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 <laughs> one, yeah, right, every weekend there's, you know, yep. so it's like, this one is uh, it's a 50s themed dance, so you all gotta get dressed up as greasers or whatever. And, um, and uh, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of, you know. I can't figure fast. out which, so I both have a greaser jacket and a poodle skirt. Aww. <laughs> I just split the difference entirely. <laughs> Love it. Perfect. Uh, and, and and the rest of it, it, it it's kind of half-assed. You know, they they try to play mostly fifty stuff, but the the playlist is kind of small, and it mixes in some sixties and seventies things. Eh, you know, it's like the, the camp's given it the old college to try, but you know. Do these kids even know what this is? No, nah, <laughs> the kids don't. Care. Probably not. The kids don't care. They are way too into uh, uh, talking about Machete Macbeth. Oh um, hell yeah! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. with chainsaw. Macbeth. This is the chainsaw. Yeah. Machete, Machete, Macbeth. Machete Macbeth chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a grind, grindhouse production. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and yeah, while, while you are, you know, while you are there, uh, you see uh, Kelly, the, uh, the swimming instructor, um, and uh, she is, uh, she's on the dance floor, you know, dancing with like a whole bunch of campers at the same time. Um, and, and she's darling and, and very, very good with, with the children who like her, which must be nice. Rory, go for it! Do it! Do it! Do it! And, and, and Kelly, like, waves. She's like, kind of, you know, come join us. Oh, Rory, it's time for yeah. you to become one with the dance. They'll be right there! They're coming! They're coming! I turn around to go find the person who must evidently have been behind me that Kelly was gesturing to. <laughs> right. No, 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 they're talking to you, Rory. Oh, no, no, no! Yeah. She, she was gesturing at, at someone else. I'm, no, I'm going to sure be right back. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's you. I just, I just, I heard. I heard. Oh, well, I heard. I'm too British, you dance. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. Uh, and, and and yeah, um, so you're 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 pushing them out uh, to yeah. the dance floor. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. You, you, you I'm helping. Wrists. I'm helping. And you're helping. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You. So you join the kids in the dance, and, and you join the kids in the dance, yes. and uh, and that's that's you know that's kind of fun. And you're standing off uh, to the side when you you kind of. I'm this, judging everyone's dance. You, you hear in the background somewhere, like amongst the music, like this this kind of like 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 cackling this. Ooh, ah, Huh. Make make a make a make an analytics roll. Yeah. Uh how many? Um well actually would this be an instinct roll? Uh yeah, make make an instinct roll. Uh, you wanna roll over your number? You can roll one. It's something you are not prepared for. I just wanna see this is we'll call this like our version of a passive uh, notice roll. But we, okay, so where so I'm gonna try to argue for one more dice. Um and so this is my argument. Where are we right now? You are on the tennis courts. Oh, so uh, we're outside. Yeah, you're outside. Okay, damn it. I was um, going to be like, if we're inside, like, where the fuck is this wind coming from? But okay. Um, because I was like, I was going to use my survival knowledge. No, yeah, no, like, I think the no. tennis courts, they've hung yep, up yep, streamers yep. Okay, and Okay, great. Stuff. Okay, yeah. so I'll, I'll, I'll roll one then. You have beat me, Rick. Oops, sorry. Uh, above my number, below my number. Uh, you want to roll over your number. Wait. Oh, oh, oh I'm so many. I'm going to. Sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Success. 
You turn and you look into the woods and like real fast you catch a glimpse of what, you know, you're pretty sure is a creepy clown. But ah. but before you can really kind of like get a good look at it, it's kind of just gone, like into the shadows. Hey, hey, uh, Rory, Rory, um, yeah, uh, yes. Lily, Lily, I think one of the kids is out there. Oh, Rory, keep, keep dancing. Oh, no, if there's, there's, a, a, if there's a child in danger, no, I really, I really must. Oh, 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 no, Kelly fell. Rory, oh, why don't, you need to help? There is a kid out okay. there, and we need to go get them. Uh, Rory, if you want to come, or if you want to woo your lady love, you can do either one. I, I, Both are I, a great I, risk. I, I love I, it. I, I, um, <laughs> but we should... Kelly's like, well, if, if a kid needs help, I, we should all probably go. And just kind of picks herself up. Oh, and, I, yeah. I help. oh, thank you for joining us, Kelly. Um, maybe you and Rory can search... Um, was it this way? Yeah, let's split up and we'll go two different directions and Rory and Kelly can go this direction. Yes, that Ash, maximizes our chances of being found. splitting of the party. Love Ash it. and I will go this way. Oh, well, sure. Hey, oh, thank you. you. <laughs> Something going on in bear time 2234. Mm. Okay, that, that seems like it evens mm -hmm. off a six, mm -hmm. right? So it's like... Um, let's see, we're at uh, one. We're at eight. Uh, I think we should be at a two right now. Mm. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, so um, you're, you're splitting up. You and Kelly are gonna go one way, and you are gonna go. Well, I, I think I think the I would like. So you said this was off in the woods, right? Yeah, you just kind of catch glimpses like, into the woods. Okay, so I, I would like to like walk to the tree line with the group, and then just kind of like scope out like what our two best paths are. So I don't know if that's a roll or if like that is. Um, um yeah, that is absolutely an analytics roll. Mm -hmm. You want to roll under your number. Uh, it's been a few days. You've been at the camp. We'll say you're prepared for this. You call it. You can roll two. Okay, I'm rolling under my number. Uh, you, analytics. You want to roll under your number. Okay, yeah. great. And your number ashes. Um, three. buddy. Uh, I got no. That that is uh, two failures. I guess <laughs> we must just have to go off and split <laughs> yes, up without yes. really knowing where, where we're, we're going, going. Uh, which will be Lily, fine. Yeah. Lily uh, shouts into the forest, be like, "Oh, who who is that out there?" Hello, hello, uh, uh, child camper. Hello. What is your name, child? Uh, make it make it an instincts roll. Uh, you can roll one. You want to roll over your number. The solo walk is tomorrow. We're doing the night hike yeah. tomorrow, according Success. to our itinerary. Success. Yeah. Uh, okay. You 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 hear just like this this cackle and <laughs> such a mm -mm. merry child. Mm -mm. I know. We should cast them as something. Like oh. maybe Lady Macbeth? Maybe. We, yeah. How you know, you it's, not go to it's the interesting that we... <laughs> oh, the witches. That's oh, right, right, a failure right. to cast your <laughs> Failure! I it's behind, a very, behind you, Lily, very Lily, Jimmy's like, roles. no, we need somebody with real depth here. <laughs> <laughs> can't be expected to work with just some rando. Jimmy, I love you. This is exactly why I cast you as Macbeth. Okay. Yeah, so maybe the witches. Right? Maybe the witches. Mm. Yes. Okay, well, it seemed like it was coming in this direction. Perhaps they're shy, a merry shy child. But we should definitely split up. And, and Kelly so takes that... your arm and goes, and we'll go this way. Okay, sounds way. good. All right, so first let's, uh, yeah, first let's let's follow you and Kelly into the mm -hmm. uh, into the woods. And uh, it is, you know, it's a path that sort of leads through the woods towards. Um, we will say there is. Uh, Toward, towards where like the the theater is like, you know uh, it's, yeah. it's an outdoor amphitheater um and so you're... you've heard about um setting things on fire for uh acting what uh n no um i'm 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 the lifeguard i oh uh, yes know. no um i no i Who's setting i i know things it's, on it's, fire? It's, uh well it's it's a it's 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 a pyrotechnical production with fire or or so, or, or so i've heard from people at camp. I'm not interested in theater and fire. I like sports, like archery. Me too. Sports are great. I I like I, I sports. Uh, archery is a sport. A lot of people think that it's not a sport because you're just standing there and you don't get big, strong, symmetrical muscles. But it's it's a very important and valuable sport. Tell me about your best archery story. Um. Well. Uh, I was a uh, first runner-up in the state championship this year, and then when I was going for for the final round, I uh, missed the 
target. So that was big. You missed the target? Yeah, which is which is honestly really quite unusual in archery at, at a certain level. Usually, you know, you just you don't quite hit hit the bullseye, but you know, um there there was someone in the crowd and they shouted and I find noise very distracting when I'm shooting. I, I try to focus, but you know, I, I am not used to doing it in any kind of chaotic condition and so I um, missed an and that's instinct roll. Um, yes. <laughs> while you are talking, we're, we're going to count this as like a passive resistance. You can yeah. roll, uh, sorry, passive notice. Uh, you can roll one. Um, uh, it's instinct you want to roll over your number. Your number is five, Rory. So yeah, you don't notice anything. Uh, you just keep talking uh, and uh, now make a roll. I want, I want to see how, uh, how, how this all works on Kelly. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Finding out that you missed the target, you know. Let's see if she's impressed or not. Um, Impressive thing. <laughs> Segway directly to failure. <laughs> okay, that's instinct. You can roll one because, yeah. Nope, in the designated rolling area. Nope, I want to re-roll that. You want to re-roll that? Okay. I want yes. For the record, that was a success. <laughs> it was. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Wow. Okay, Same now way. I have to take the win, yeah, I guess. She's just really Dang. charmed. Like, wow. Dang. First runner up. That's really impressive. Uh, thank, and, thank, thank you. Thank you. And she's making eyes at you, and you're, you're, you're I guess, trying I'm, I'm really talking about all the technicals of archery and, yeah, and, and all of that. Yeah, and you totally don't notice uh, the, the three creepy clowns coming out of the woods and sort of slowly marching to you like uh, until it is almost too late and one sort of appears right behind Kelly and kind of grabs her hair and she's like screaming and you see this sort of monstrous kind of like you know fang teeth clown just kind of like giggling like, and like, <laughs> pulling out her hair like and killer clowns from outer space? Yeah, like killer clowns from outer space. Oh no. Um, perhaps killer clowns, perhaps actually killer clowns from outer space, who knows? Oh, no. Um, and yeah, and, and, and you sort of, as you know, you scream and you see them wrestling your hair, you hear footsteps behind you and you see there, there are two more coming up behind you. I run away. <gasps> oh. What, what okay. is that style right there? Kelly the fucking died. You are, you are the cowardly archer. Ooh, there we go! Um, <laughs> Goal, stay alive. Rory, that, that, wow. is a, that is a... That's on that's brand. A, it's on brand. Instinctual action? No, I mean, I guess... Of, it's a wild action. I'm not right. running precisely, yeah, so we'll I'm probably going to fail at right? running. Just, so let's right. go. It's a theory action, so yeah. it's instinctual. So you want to roll over your number. You are a coward. So I am. So let's say you can roll two. Fair enough. It's also dark in your. Oh, I I won successively run away, which is the correct way in a horror movie of running away. Um, I presumably get some distance. I in am going to make you re-roll that one success. Absolutely and happily. See, this is the difference in horror movies. There we are. There's two failures. There's... I'm satisfied with this outcome. Yeah, and and, and you, you 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 turn to run uh, to, to to run away, and uh, you just like, instantaneously uh, just hit like a root and spill from your your chair. Uh, and uh, you're you are getting back up as the clowns are kind of now coming towards you. No, 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 no. Please take care of me. <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> you made eye contact and I get creeped out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll get to your killer clowns. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and, and uh, one of them sort of comes, grabs you, and like makes a move and like comes down and grabs your arm and starts now like pulling you. Uh, <laughs> you know, right, oh, you in your chair, like chair and all towards the woods. I was playing bad guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I like, Hold I on, your bike bed. Sorry, I didn't get that. Okay. Yeah, then I would immediately go to the parallel. Like, okay, mm, then yeah. just dragging your ass across the lawn right into the woods. Are you making any noise so that people... That, 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 there were screams. I'm trying to be nice to audio, but yes. Yeah. Okay, you're screaming? <laughs> yes, um, let it let's, be known. Let's say roll... Just absent. Roll an instinct roll. You want to roll over your number, you can roll three. Uh, one success. One success. All right. 
the two of you are off, uh, and you are looking walking through the woods yourself. Um, and I'm very confidently like moving through the woods because I'm like, this is my space. Moss grows on the north side of the tree. Like, let's go. I have no problem with dark spaces that I've never been into before. It's all part of the adventure of life. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, I get that. So wow. yeah, I you're, love you're, this. you're you're you're, I, you're walking. I think. I think you're my crush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, because I was shipping it over here. <laughs> Works. I I'm glad we're all doing PC yeah. crushes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So good. Yeah. So good. Um. And yeah, while you are, you know, sort of talking, uh, you you start to hear this this voice. It's, it's laughing, but but it's not quite the cackle you've heard before. It's more just like a like a good hearty, like a laugh. laugh. Yeah. Oh, does so that I... sound like Old Man Jenkins to you? I don't know, maybe it's Steve? Might be Steve. It's like a belly laugh. Yeah, mm. he, he does have a little bit of a belly. Yeah, yeah just yeah. a bit of one. Just just a bit of one. You know, I wanted to give him some private dance. Wow, your eyes happen. look really pretty. Oh, thank you. It's the shine of life. It it really is. Uh, we should go here if... Uh, heesh, Steve. Um, <laughs> yeah, why does not why doesn't somebody make a... Yeah, what, what are you going to do? Are you you're going... Uh, I am going to ignore the fact that I just told my crush that I think their eyes are pretty. And I am going to um, go and uh, just like approach the sound and be like, Steve? Old man Jenkins? Uh, and and uh, you, you hear a voice goes... No, no, it's it, it's just me. And uh, Legacy Evans uh, steps out of the shadows. Whoa! No, I'm gonna fucking fight Legacy <laughs> Evans. Let's go. I know. Fight the mechanic. Let's do it. Go, let's go. I, I come out here to practice uh, my poetry, and I I just came up with a line that's <laughs> ah so delightful. Wow, your locks gleam in the light, like I tried to shine on stage. Yeah, well, I can skin. A squirrel in 30 seconds flat. <laughs> huh. Wow, that is indeed very deadly and girl. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Squirrel. Thank you. It means something, right? It does. It does. Anyway, we were just hanging out and it's kind of an us thing right now, and I don't really want you here, Legacy, so maybe you should just go. I'm very curious what the, the I think Legacy should line. go and I think we should keep finding this child. And but he's, he's like, so happy. I've, I've been out here trying to complete my new poem. Uh, it's about the woman I love. But I can't think of a way to end it. And, and on that, you, you, you hear this like kind of scream off in the background. Screaming bloody murder. Thank like, God. Yeah. Bloody I, murder! Like, <laughs> like, you hear that? You, you, you see like Ash like ready to punch Legacy. And, <laughs> and then you hear the scream. It's like the scream... Uh, did, did, you heard that? Yes. Yeah. That, that was not a scream of merriment. No, it, it was, was a scream. Bloody murder! Uh, d- we have it's to, almost we like have a to, screaming bloody murder. We have to go see what's going on. Yeah. Legacy. After Can, you. oh, Jesus. Um, make an instant roll. Roll, you want to roll over your number, you I'm can not saving this guy. Two. Fucking legacy. Ooh, uh, only legacy. one success. I'll say Kelly. Legacy's it's not legacy. All right, I'll come along, but I I'm legacy. not gonna help. And, uh, uh, and, not and, like you could anyway. Your poetry is no good here, <laughs> asshole. Uh, let's go. Literally, like <laughs> dance strides for yeah, the just, trees, just like <laughs> singing the moonlight. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I'm just gonna kill him. And yeah, and the three of you are off, and no. uh, you, uh, you know, you come running, um, and uh, just in time to see uh, uh, um, uh, one killer clown standing there, uh, holding uh, Kelly's head, uh, <gasps> having just like torn it from her body, and the killer clown is just like, just like kind of laughing and holding what? the head, and, and, and like, like you know, uh, and, 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 it, and it turns to it, and, and, and it starts like, you know, you, you hear, you think through its cackling, you hear it say, "Alas, poor Yurik, I knew him well," but you're not sure, uh, and, and and it and, and it just cackles, and, and, and he's trained. Throws uh, Kelly's head uh, in your direction. Wait, Whoa. it was only Kelly's head. Yes. Yeah. I I like pure instinct. 
batter up like chainsaw comes out. It's got no fuel, so I can't turn it on, but just like Kelly's head. Okay, that is an instinct roll. You want to Back roll over your it. number. You can roll two. Okay, great. Clearly the clown is not trained, though. This Unless you're session help. is oh, Macbeth, I, I can help. not Hamlet. It's I, I knew him help. Horatio. Um, yeah, please, please give me. Give me some <laughs> okay. Um, I love you. Love since, you since Lily is uh, really close to Ash and um, is able to read body language. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, stands behind Ash and just subtly adjusts his body. Oh, get that pot to, get, to get the vest swing just with the, the chainsaw. It's all in the hips. All right, yeah. you can Ash roll really that. two for that. That we'll call that analytics. So you want to roll under your number. She's a dance instructor. Then you can roll three. Good. Oh, but no, I'm a two. That means I have to get a you one. Just, you just need success. Yeah, it's just one. You just have to get one success. Okay. Try these that have been ones before. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Uh, I got my number, two. Yay! Okay, so that's a success, yeah. so you can roll the third one. Uh, uh, I get, I got one success, and it's my number, so I got to talk to old man Jenkins. Okay. I also got old man Jenkins. So you just swing that thing, and just barely, it, you know, hits the, the head, and the head goes flying, and the killer clown, like, whoa! And, and, and while it's distracted, you, you just old man Jenkins strangely is just walking <laughs> out of the woods. He's carrying like a bucket with some water and then stops and he's like, well, what's going on? You got, uh, you got a question? What's your question? Um, how do I kill this killer clown? It's like normal. Oh, killer clowns are killable with any conventional weapon. It's not easy, but you could... Shoot them, you could chop their heads off, you could bash them with rocks, you know, they're just, they're kind of like people, but, you know, killier and clownier. Uh, what do you want? Is this, uh, clown theatrically trained? Uh, no, but he is an enthusiastic amateur. Oh. And, and on that, he's uh -huh. like, okay, now I'm going to take my I wonder if we can recruit him for the play. He Let's, killed Kelly. He did fuck. okay. Scratch that's, that's plan A. Scratch that. <laughs> plan B. Let's go. Uh, Lily pulls Come the taken. double machetes from the harness on her, the leather yeah. harness on her back. Um, wraps the ribbons <laughs> around her that flutters in the breeze. <sighs> takes a stance and does like a spin dance attack to that's hot. cut cut the killer clown. Yep. Like boom. Yep. Maybe okay. at the head. I don't know. Um, we'll say the clown has pulled you into the woods by now, so you go oh, running Well, we after. didn't even see. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll yeah. say you go running <laughs> after and charging, you know, right into the woods after. Um, and now you're going to do this yeah. spinning move. Like, with, with dance. With dance. Um, with dance. So let's call that... It's murder dance. The deadly dance. dance. I mean, mm. it sounds like a very precise <laughs> action. You're trying to do like a spin a thing while doing a chop. So we'll call that analytical. Me. You want to roll under your number. But dance is instinctual. But it's a horror I've game, never... so we're boned. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, you want to roll under your number for this? Uh, for the very precise killing action is what you're doing. How about just slashing at whatever my machetes? That can... would be an instinctual action if you're just sort of like going hog wild and hoping to get lucky. Okay, but through dance. Okay, through dance. Hog wild dance. So you can roll three. You want to roll over your number. Okay. I took a master class in that discipline once. <laughs> Hog wild dance. Your number is uh, uh, two. Two successes. Two. I'm. Okay, I'm going I'm to table. make you reroll one of those successes. I'm gonna make me reroll the failure. Okay, so oh, we hey. roll two. Great. Three successes, one's one. Ha ha! Fuck you, Dragon Lady! Fuck you, Dragon Lady! All right, uh, you go just flying through the air like, and ah! you know, right, just total berserker rage and just, ah! and just like, it. you know, mm -hmm. you fly in every which way and you are just being dragged and then suddenly through the air you see Lily come flying, screaming, waving her knives. You are Rick sure you are about to die in 12 ah! different ways, but somehow miraculously all those blades land and, and, and the, hand, the, the, the arms of the killer clown holding you just like fall to the ground and the killer clown like then its head falls off and its body just like like slides over in two and just down. totally diced up. <laughs> Clown down. Sam rhymes. New category. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lily stands on the body and uses one of the pom pom buttons to clean off the machetes. Uh, they, 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 
I think they killed Ellie. I'm sorry for your loss. She was a vibrant spirit. Were there any more of the clowns? Are you okay? They killed Kelly! I'm not okay! None of this is okay! Valid. And, and you hear like, the, uh, like some cackling laughter off somewhere in the front. Oh, this sounds like yeah. more. Yes, and I had an old man. Do oh, yeah, and, and, okay. and on that train, the old man drinks out walking back with his buckets of water. And like, what? You got another question? What is the safest way out of these woods back to our campers? Uh, the safest way would be just back the way you came towards the tennis courts. Okay. We have to. We, we have, have to get to back sure. to, to the campus. And yep. Yes. Make sure yep. that they're safe. Yep. Maybe yep. if we go exactly I'm, the way I'm... we came, then nothing bad will come upon us. Legacy, did you see what I did to the cloud? Oh, uh, you're still alive. Uh, Le Legacy says, uh, uh, "No, actually, uh, I, I wasn't really paying attention to you. Um, I I found this, and and he, and he takes out, you know, picks up this like a uh, spiral notebook, uh, and he's like, it was under a rock. Uh, he's like." It's very cool. It's like some kind of poetry about something or other. It says, uh, the hide behind Mrs. Faces Anathio. I can't read that. Is that literally the only thing that's written in the entirety of the notebook? It's like I say, so I see it, and he turns and he holds it up, and they're just like, yeah, just like those three, like kind of words across the page, like. Uh, the hide behind at the top. Investigate Mrs. this further yes. with our campers. Let's first, our priority is to protect these campers. We yes. can look at this once we get back. Yes. Legacy, perhaps if you can um, guard that. Yeah. Us. Man, why can't I write uh, I would rather one of us hold on to it. Oh, uh, because we are the camp counselors. Yes. Uh, that makes complete sense, Ash. Finders, keepers, and, 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 he, and he puts it behind his back. Legacy, this is a survival situation. We might all die. The campus might get hurt. Where are your sense of priorities? Also, I might they punch you. They killed Kelly. Also, I might punch Who's you. Who's Kelly? That was back. <gasps> Who are you? Pugilism and Vestikoffs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I am entirely yeah, untrained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's instinctual. Yeah. I get one die, but I need to go fail at Vestikoffs now. Uh, can, <laughs> I, can I assist? Can I? Oh, but you want to Assisticuffs? No, I just know that I probably will. will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm fine if okay. I don't. Yeah. Either, I just either is good. If you want to, if you want to support me, <laughs> then I, like, if you want to support me mechanically, I'm here for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if mechanically. we want to punch this guy, yeah, I'm here. yeah. So let's punch this guy. Ahead. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna support. I want to fucking punch this guy, but they're gonna punch this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an intimidating face. Like, I'm gonna fucking punch you. Okay, that's. Uh, oh, splitting focus. Yes. Yeah. We'll call that instinctual, because that's like a kind of diplomacy. So you wanna roll yeah. over your number. Your number is three ash. You can roll. You seem kind of like a hard ass, so uh, we'll say you can roll two. Yeah. Uh, I got one success. That's all that's I need. All it takes. Yep. I now get two yeah. for my yeah. instinct roll <laughs> as a five. Love it. And it has the predicted effect of I'm basically flailing. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and Legacy is unimpressed. It's like, I'm keeping my book. We don't have time for this, to yeah. act like children. I really believe in the child inside, but now it's not the proper time. Yeah, what she said. All right, once we get back to camp, I'm taking that book from you. Otherwise, you, me, and my chainsaw are talking. Let's go. I fucking hate you. <laughs> what? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, we have to go. Yeah, let's go. Back um, to the campers. All right, yeah, um, and uh, I'll say, yeah, you, you you make it back to the tennis courts, and, the, you know, the campers are all dancing and having a great time, you know, and then those kids... All right, listen, good. kiddos, listen up. Uh, we are going into full protection mode. Full and protection. Yes, all, thank you. The drills. Thank you. all the all drills. All the drills that we have practiced. We are going to the cafeteria. Them. Cafeteria. As we have practiced, I want all of you under those tables. Under stop, tables. drop, and roll. As we have practiced, Practice. let's go. In an orderly fashion, orderly fashion, I have a chainsaw, and I'm not afraid to use it. Unafraid. One. Okay. Uh, I, I, I want, both of you make instinct rolls. I want you to roll. Uh, you, you can roll. You can roll three. You right. can roll one. Yeah, I'm just instinct, here for the assist. You want to roll right? Yeah, you're just here for yeah. the assist. We're going to see. This applies to how all of your drills went. <laughs> okay, that's an instinct roll. I failed. Okay. So it's three for you. So it's under my number? Uh, instinct, you want to roll over your number. Oh, fuck yeah. Two successes. Is, Two successes. Okay. Yep. Unafraid. Uh, uh, yeah, two successes. Um, Chainsaw. 
they, 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 they're like, drill time! And then, you know, they all snap into, like, like lines and yeah, start, they like, do. you know, yes. walking, yeah. you know, towards, yeah. you know, thing. And one of the kids turn to you and they're like, where's Kelly? Kelly is... Yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> this is something that we'll Keep discuss together, at the end of the drill. We'll discuss this at the end of the drill. Continue. Kelly is let just the, fine. Let the... Let the practice drill take Kelly over had to your go body. home. <laughs> and, and one of the kids is like, the archery instructor is crying. And another one's like, ha yeah. ha. They, they're, they're just really sad Kelly had to go home. Which we all will have to go home I one day. Her. I want to go home. And then the kid gets in the line and they start Don't talking. worry, you will. All right, and, and yeah, and you, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was kind of ominous. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, that's. What? By the laws of horror yeah. movies, like <laughs> this child is gonna die. die. <laughs> yeah, you you absolutely oh, make it uh, up to the mess hall. Um, mm. we'll, we'll we'll say you, mm -hmm. you march them up, and uh, they're all inside, and uh, the other counselors sort of come and no. gather around you. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be like station yourself around uh, at like each of the point of entrances. And, and one of the other counselors, they, oh, and and, and uh, Legacy Evans is sort of standing oh, there, and he's like, well, "Excuse me, uh, who died and made you Steve murder?" Kelly. Uh, Kelly literally died. Who's Kelly? <gasps> who are you? I'm Legacy I can't Evans. I per perception check oh. here. Can I do something? I think this kid is not a kid. Bro, this mechanic like, isn't mechanic? that satanic? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 The like, probability is gigantic. Hey, Legacy, like, where were you? Why were you in the woods? Because you said to come with you. A likely no. story. No, you were uh, already in the woods. You were see. already in the woods when we were supposed to be at this Usually. dance. Usually. Weren't you stationed at. Well, right, I was practicing my poetry. You practiced your poetry in the shower. No, I practiced my poetry in the woods. No, you practiced your poetry in the shower. And I practice my poetry in the woods. Well, why did you leave your station at the water cooler? You were supposed to be there to help refill in case we needed any. Because and make sure the children didn't... Poetry is a bigger time. calling than cooling water. Yeah, I don't Legacy, believe that. The very first time that we met, you said something very weird to me. What was it? Um, I think I said... Uh, um, Oogie Boogie Boogie Boogie, which was the title of my latest poem, uh, and I was using it to introduce myself to people that week. That sounds which, terrible. In retrospect, no, it's great. I mean, it's not as good as the stuff in my was great it new notebook. What they said. But Oogie to Boogie you? Boogie uh, Boogie was some of my best work. Should I roll for if that's the truth or not? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll tell you. You know, it, you know. Yeah, you can roll. Uh, call call it instincts. You want to roll over your number? Uh, you can roll two. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> Get home when oh, I got two successes. One's my number. All right. Uh, Is it success that he's the real guy or success? Yeah, I don't know. Like, what's the win condition here? I don't Other know. Than what this you can, like you can see, you know, he he's telling yeah. you the truth. Okay. Um, and then from behind you, you hear the voice of old man Jenkins just being like, "Ah, I'm gonna clean this place up with all the kids in here." What's your question? Um, there Always are, got a question. There are three names in this book. One of them was the hide behind. Because our characters don't know what any of this means. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, what does this mean? What does it mean? Uh, okay. The camp has a bunch of monsters living in the woods and the lake and the mountains and so on and such and forth. Uh, the hide behind is one of them. It is some sort of creature that can hide behind things. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a slasher with a big knife who's going to kill you. Uh, and uh, then there is, uh, you know, a couple of other monsters. There's this thing, Mrs. Faces, uh, which I don't know. It could kind of be anybody. Uh, it steals people's faces and it wears them, which I don't know. It, it sounds kind of hilarious, but, um, uh, you know, <laughs> and, 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 then, and then there's an Anathiel, which, uh, which some sort of demon. I think there was a kid who rode out to the lake and saw some kind of shiny medallion thing on the bottom of the lake and, and, and picked up the medallion and, and unleashed yeah. the demon, and now the demon just, you know... You know, kills for sport. 
That's horrifying. Anyway, I gotta go clean up. And then he sort of trudges off. Thank you, old man Jenkins. Yeah, whatever. That was the first thing that Legacy said to me. It was one of the reasons why I was like, oh, this is a, a soul that is slightly outstep of the normal spectrum. So you know that I run this channel, this cryptozoology channel. Oh. Embrace the mystery. Mm. Uh, I think that it's important work. And so I 100% believe old man Jenkins when he says deer or these creatures in the woods. I mean, we just saw killer clowns, right? We did. And, and one, one little kid walking by goes, and I thought I saw a chupacabra in the woods. You sure did. I'm going to come to you for notes, and we're going to talk about it, and we'll, 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 we'll parse it out, and we'll do a little special on it. It'll be great, Timothy. Hey. Yes. Yeah. And everyone, make sure that um, your forms of your next of kin is uh, properly filled out. Uh, but Yay. here's what caught my attention in what old man Jenkins just said. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one, Miss Faces. Indeed. Can take anyone's faces? Like I'm not, Kelly's? I'm not a, no, not Wait. you. Uh, I'm, I'm pointing behind you. It's to Legacy. Sam yeah. understands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> what, like Jimmy? No, like Legacy. Legacy? Oh, no, that's Legacy. You don't think that's sketchy that he was just in the woods doing poetry? And, and you all look over at Legacy, and, and like he's like looking at his own reflection like in, 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 in like a, the side of a, a refrigerator, like really highly polished metal refrigerator, and he's kind of like smiling at himself. Okay, so at least he's not a vampire. I mean, he's got such a chiseled jaw. Okay, and well... Those, those pecs don't stop. It's true, I'm not even going to make him roll for that. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, love... What? Anyway. I, I can double check, but it really seems like legacy. His legacy? Ugh. Who wrote that journal anyway? I don't know. Uh, I wanna... Hey, hey, legacy! And uh, he just, just keeps looking in the thing and just like rubbing his face and smiling He's so at focused. himself. Okay, can I try stealing the journal off him? Uh, yeah, you can try. Mm -hmm. why, don't, why don't you first make an analytics roll? You can roll... Uh -huh. You can roll three. You're, you're not that far from him in a brightly mm -hmm. lit room. Uh, you want to roll under your number, see if you can spot it, let's say. Okay. Under my number. Oh, fuck, I rolled three sixes. <laughs> yes, you did! Wow. Amazing! <laughs> yeah, no, can I you, just get something for that? No. You don't see anything. Oh, okay, yeah, you're going to, okay. Uh, I got one old man Jenkins. Why are we spending down all our rerolls before we're the monsters? Oh, fuck. I'm That's so sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Good point. Good point. Because, like, absolutely last one. run them out last, for, like, last one. Last the one. humans. Last one. But our monsters yeah. need these for murder. Very good point. Very okay. good point. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of campers. Uh, there's you a lot of campers. You see, you, get, you, you have to get kind of close, and you see it, like, sticking out of his back pocket, but you get close enough so that he turns around and he's like, what are you doing? Trying to steal my journal. Nope. I'm trying to punch you. Uh, <laughs> make an instinct roll to see if he's convinced by that. Okay, uh, can I swipe it? Well, he's distracted. Can, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Should I punch him? I want to punch him. You want to punch him? I want to punch him. <laughs> okay, then do, or do you just want to punch him instead of trying to see if he's persuaded? Yeah. Okay, then just make an instinct roll <laughs> yeah. and punch him. You violent roll persuasion, number yeah. You. You can roll. You are you a violent. Yeah, you can still try to steal it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, if you succeed, that's a distraction yeah. assist yeah. to it. my swipery. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll call it that. Okay. Um, you can make an instinct roll. You can roll two. You want to roll over your number. Your number is uh, three. Three. Uh, one success. One success. So, yeah, you sort of, you know. Yeah, and, 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 and it lands and kind of hits him on the chin, uh, and um, <gasps> it, it kind of works. It, it works enough to get you a little distraction help. Otherwise, it's like, you, one, it's like his chin is very hard feeling, and it's ah, like his hand. Um, but he is distracted enough to let you sort of try and just come in behind swipe and swipe. <laughs> so that's an analytics roll. It's calm, precise action. You want to roll under your number. Uh, you have help now, so with your help, you can roll three. Uh, two successes. I steal the frack out of that notebook. Yeah, you get the notebook. Good job. It's I'm just done. checking to make sure you're not a shapeshifter, man. And, and it's oh my just God, like, Ash, why would you just punch Legacy like that? Legacy, are you okay? Ash, you're being such like, a bully. Dude. I would beat the crap out of you right now. Want to take this outside? I, if I wasn't to looking the killer forward clowns? to hey, that crazy th Macbeth machete thing so much, 
There are children here. Yes. Everyone, but... violence is never the answer. I'm going to take Ash aside. I'm going to give Ash the notebook surreptitiously. It's yeah. never the answer. Violence is always the answer. That's me playing a lot. Uh, you... No, it's not. <laughs> Come see. into my office and we'll have a very serious discussion. Let's go. He, tap, he rubs tap, his jaw and he yeah. turns to you and, you know, he's like... <laughs> Perhaps you should put some type of um, aloe on that so you don't develop a very nasty bruise on that chiseled jaw. Not that that would detract from your looks. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. Maybe you want to stop by later and rub some aloe on my chin. I'm very proficient at um, every kind of ointment. So, I mean, it's the least I can do for my friend just wailing on you like that. And he, and he winks at you and he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home and... Uh, read this poetry journal I found. I'll, I'll see y'all later. And he turns around and he sort of stretches out. And... Uh, from the office, like, Ash is, like, peeking through the window watching this interaction and the journal is completely yours right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I can't read their lips. Are you good at reading lips? Um, more Latin than lips, really, but, uh, you know, in, ex in extremis? Do you think I should start writing poetry? <laughs> Uh, Lily, like, kind of dances away from the encounter and kind of twirls a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you've got the journal now. Um, the kids are sort of sitting at the table. The other counselors are kind of mm -hmm. keeping them occupied. Well, what do you want to do? Um, I mean, since their interaction is over, I turn back to you with the journal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we should probably try and figure out who wrote it. Um, because they probably know the most answers about what these things are. Well, I can at least look and see whether the handwriting is childish. Yeah, or if or there's whether it's an adult, perhaps, or if it, or if it matches any of the records in the camp office. I mean, we'd have to leave the mess hall and and get over there, but I'm sure that would be fine. Uh, I mean, within the camp, like oh, nothing could yes. possibly get. Us. I mean, we're in charge right now. We are absolutely in charge. So, I'm, I'm full of authoritative I'm really proud of you. presence. <laughs> yes, let's go, let's go, let's do this. Uh, yes. Question about this book: Does it look hand bound? A spiral. Uh, yeah, it's like a spiral, oh, it's a spiral notebook. notebook. Like my oh, it's like a spiral notebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it! I was like, can we see if anyone like wrote their name in it? So no, every page is blank except the one that says these three names. Uh... I mean, are you, I mean, did you roll your number? Are you oh, no, 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 okay, no, 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 Like, can I, can I Just roll quick, that? Skin yeah. Oh, yeah. you want to, yeah. like, examine the book? Yeah. Um, I, I actually yeah. would like to examine the book because, um, mm -hmm. I want to do the, uh... <laughs> because they're an analytical five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also that. Also that. Yeah. Also that. Uh, Lily? But, uh, the thing where you pencil over oh, the fuck, page. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So do then it. you see if there was a page previously written on, because it comes up. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you <laughs> portals. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm. I'm gonna ask you. It's like, hey, is there anything else in, uh, in in the book? I can see if there was something yeah. at some point, and then I do uh, the pencil trick. Uh, Lily comes yeah. up and hugs Ash. He's like, your fiery passion just helped me have a date with Legacy. Thank you. What are you doing with that book? Oh, uh, we're trying. We're trying to see if there was any writing on it previously, or any I'm other clues. I'm so happy for the clues. two of you. And I'm gonna rub so, ointment your, on his body. Your nose seemed to start bleeding when you said that. Are you alright? I'm. I'm okay. Uh, okay. I'm okay. Okay, Rory, make an analytical roll. Yeah. Roll. <laughs> Ash breaks a pencil. I'm just. You roll two. Um, yeah. You roll, roll no, under just... your number. Your number is five. <laughs> yep. Um. Uh, double my number. What? Uh, okay. We have all the questions, kids. <laughs> yeah, uh, wow. that is a success. Nice. And uh, nice. what I'll say is, uh, yeah, you, as you run your your pencil over the page, uh, you can see um, on the first page you, you start running it over, and and uh, you can see that there there were actually you know pages of other columns behind it, mm -hmm. um, just like you said. Yeah, uh, and. Um, what it, what it says is uh, uh, um, next to the hide behind, uh, it says uh, special weapon. Uh, sorry, it says weakness, special weapon, um, and 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 in par in, a par in, par in a parenthetical, it says drop to the bottom of the lake. And then mm. next next to Mrs. Faces, it says uh, um, can only be killed with gold. 
while in human form. No, oh, sorry. It says, have to pierce her heart with gold mm. while in human form. Sorry. Um, and next to uh, Anaphiel, uh, it says, um, warrior pure of heart, question mark. And uh, to success, I'll say is that like it looks like it's uh, the handwriting of an adult. Um, and uh, what I'll say is, um, all right. The the second one says drop to the bottom of the lake. Uh, the first one, uh, wait, which one? Uh, uh, hide behind was bottom of the lake with a special weapon. How to hide bottom of the lake with a special weapon? Um, okay, special weapon, gold, gold. Uh, and mm -hmm. purity for heart. Oh, okay. So I got all that. Yeah, okay. You got it. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, so that is what you get from that journal. It does not say who wrote it, but it looks like somebody was keeping Absolutely. track of the monsters in the woods. They can do cursive, and most kids at this point. I yeah. would assume that this is an adult. Yeah. Then. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Mm. I mean, the the swoop. One of the other counselors comes okay. walking up to you, and he's like, "Uh, hey, um, I'm I'm, I'm Seymour. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Um, uh, are." Gonna meet you. Oh, Dark of Nate! Thanks! 1313. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> nice. Uh, thank you. Um, I have a sneaky suspicion. Are, yeah. are you in charge now? I think we're in charge, the three of us. Yes. Yeah, so yes, he's in charge. It's really good to have um, three people in charge because if, um, you know, there's a disagreement, there's a tiebreaker. Uh, Rory instinctively starts looking for the third person who's in charge. Rory is <laughs> the third person. It's Just not without, without missing a beat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's you. So. Yeah. We've been trying to reach Mr. Murder Lake, and he's not picking up the phone. What's the plan? Are we just gonna just we're just hide here until the danger passes? What time of day is it? Uh, we're gonna say it's night. Yeah, it's night. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, 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 it's right. like still he's night. Like, Those okay. killer clowns are are they still out in the woods? Uh, they might be. Well, one less. How many were there? I don't know. At least two. Well, then we heard more. That's the point. Um, so what are we going to do about it? Uh, well, we wait till morning. We stay in here. We don't draw any attention to ourselves. Uh, and worst case scenario, I teach you how to kill squirrels and come morning. Do we have any other weapons that other counselors can use to help us defend the children? We do have that shed. We do have the shed. Rory, you do have the key. I, I do have the key to the shed. I, I wouldn't... I, I mean, I could... could Go, uh, go it alone? Nope. No, no, you won't go alone. Uh, how many counselors are in here? Um, there, there are about a dozen. Great, so uh, we feel safe leaving the kids by the Yeah. Place. Okay. Um, I think that we are going to go to the shed and try and figure out yes. how, how get, to get, yes. get more yeah. weapons for protecting children. Yep. A yes. lot of people yep. are proficient with uh, machetes now, thanks to our um, rehearsals. I would love to say the same of archery, but unfortunately, um, my instruction was, I suppose, maybe not the most effective for mm. reasons that entirely escape me. What is the first word that comes to your mind right now? Death. Death. Great. If we are going to go out there, and yes. we're going to come back. Uh huh. Um, I'm, I'm talking to Seymour right now. We're going to go out there. We're going to come back. And uh, when we knock on the door... Make sure all three of us say the word death. Death. Before we enter. Death. Death. Okay. I think I yeah. can remember that. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's our password death. now to um, get into the door. You picked uh, the right guy to put in charge, I promise. Great. Death. Yeah. Yep. That's the one. That's um, okay. We're going to be back and uh, make sure you start boarding up the windows and uh, have the kids just like, you know, Buddy yes. system, anything they want to go to. There's bathroom in the back, obviously. Make sure that there's people stationed there. Just keep them safe and breathing if anybody hyperventilates. Um, have them go through Kundalini Yoga. We've been practicing that in the mornings. Breath of fire, breath of wind. Where are you going exactly? We're going to the shed. You're going to the shed. We're coming yeah. back with weapons to defend ourselves. Coming back with weapons to defend yourselves. Okay, I like this plan. Yeah. Uh, all right, you got it. All right. Uh, yeah. Sally forth. Sally Forth. Once more, dear friends, onto the breach. Let's go. Okay, your voice went high. Are you very frightened? Yes! Ah. Uh, I'm not frightened. And yes, no, you're yay. filled with fiery passion, Ash. I wouldn't expect you to be. Thank passion. you. So, so I'm passion without Ash. What? 
<laughs> As you sally forth into the breach. Oh, uh, mini oh, marker. Mini thank, marker you. thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know how close we are to a bear. I don't know. I don't know what the bear tier just was. Just unlocked. Oh, we just unlocked. Oh, 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 bear time. Bear time. I, I love this. What this is going to be. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank once you. again, uh, as always, thank you. Um, yeah. And yeah, and so you as, as you go into the woods, as you as you walk into the woods, you 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 know you you walk far, and then you hear like this sound, it's like, <laughs> and you have to look around and take another step, and you just, <laughs> and, and, and you look around, and then you hello, look, you look into the the, the the woods next to you, and uh, coming out of the woods, you you, you see uh, this this penguin uh, who who. Who sort of waddles out uh, wearing, uh, we'll say, like a Jason Voorhees hockey mask. It's just a penguin. It's just a penguin. And I believe it's trick or treating. We got no candy. And uh, it reaches into its messenger bags and it's got some uh, messages from people. Yay! Well, and the first carrier penguin is from Sum Redshirt who says, Happy Halloween uh, to everyone's favorite murder crew. Uh, thank you, Sum Redshirt. Um, and Tatletheth, who says, uh, have a uh, beautiful and safe Halloween, and thanks for being awesome. Thank you, uh, Tatletheth. Um, and Dark of Nate, who says, happy Halloween, folks. Feels like a good night for uh, TPK. Have fun. Uh, and with respect <laughs> I'm doing to what I can. hope the Dodgers get crushed. Go Sox. What? <laughs> he paid for his carrier penguin. That's, so That's fun. you know. No, That's no, but fun. thank you, Dark of Nate. Um, <laughs> and uh, DJ Phoenix, uh, you are all That's awesome sweet. people. There are four mm. things that you need to remember when planning to be safe in a horror film okay. make the plan execute the plan mm -hmm. expect the plan to go off the rails and throw away the plan honestly it. it's good. all pretty decent advice good advice. Um, i can almost guarantee execution <laughs> yeah no you, uh, you've got a plan right now you're headed to the shed to get uh, weapons yeah, what could get wrong? Execute. what could possibly get executed oh. yeah. and murder clown woods it, no, it's no nothing's gonna get. Yeah. And Orion Lightning says, uh, "Wish you guys a fun, safe Halloween. Much love and hugs, if inclined. Oh, cool. Hugs for the hug inclined is always Orion Lightning. Oh, and please vote. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Orion Lightning, yeah. for yeah. bringing it back to that. Yes, yeah, everybody, good. please go vote. Please, 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 please vote. It's like yeah. having a superpower. You can affect the world. It's true. Um, I'm super. Yeah. Can confirm. Yeah. I'm super. Like a day a week. Um, so yeah, thank you. And on that, uh, that, that penguin, uh, turns around and it, it goes to the woods and pulls out this machete and then goes charging into the woods, stabbing and, uh, and, and just... What a happy little penguin. I wonder if he wants to be cast in our play. Oh. Um. It's sort of Macduff there, would you yeah. say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say. It's certainly not man of one man born, it's a penguin. Very, very you know, and I was penguin. gonna give it to Jeremy, Perfect. but like, honestly, that penguin carries it so much. Jeremy has no sense of style. It's just um, lacks the gravitas. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the and, majesty. And as uh, as it uh, disappears into the woods, um, you, you, you continue on the path and you arrive at the shed. And when you arrive at the shed, you see that there are two people standing next to it. What uh, the fuck? Yeah, um... You just see them from the back. It looks like it's a man and a woman. It's kind of tall guy. He looks like he's wearing like an overcoat, maybe like a suit. And she also is very kind of busy businessy suit on. Uh, she's got red hair. Uh, and uh, is their parents? What? Yeah. You, so you get close. They turn around uh, and you know uh, they reach into their pockets and they pull out these badges and you know, one of them's like Fox Mulder, FBI. And she <gasps> up and she says, uh, she, uh, you know, Dana Scully, <laughs> FBI. Looks at you and says, "We've been tracking the events around this camp for a long time. The FBI has been here for decades. In fact, we just recently reopened this X file. Wait, X file. We shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> what is Damn an X file? It. And 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 and, and, and Scully looks no at him right just now. like, "How could you not know how to do this by now? There are no <laughs> X files. He he doesn't know what he's talking about." So what's an X file? Nothing is an X file. So have have you happened to seen uh you know in um I mean just anything weird? Perhaps it's a file that has to do with supernatural phenomena, and the FBI is investigating that. No, don't don't. But they are calling to her. it that because they don't want to call it what it really You're is. You're so smart. No, no, <laughs> X file. It's like it used to be a file. It's like an EX, like an X file. Oh, now I thought it's, it's it might no be like an MDMA, a file, like an ecstasy file, like an X file. No, that's, that's a different thing. department. Okay. No. Um. Yeah. So we we've decided to uh, to show up here spontaneously and ask questions for no reason. And Mulder's like, I I'll take it from here. And mm -hmm. he said, um, So, uh, kids, have you seen any? We're not kids. We're not kids. 
I'm obviously a full-fledged woman. She is. Uh-huh. Um, Are you about to ask about the murder clowns that killed Kelly? Murder clowns? Yes. yes. One of our... And also maybe Johnson's a hide behind, pet. and also maybe a Mrs. Faces, and also maybe an Anathio. Exactly yeah. what Rory just said. That was actually it. We didn't know about the murder clowns. Uh, he takes out a pad and he's murder Large number of murder clowns. Murder clowns. But, uh, have you seen any have, creepy slashers they, or some sort of I mean, murder monsters? clowns are pretty yeah, creepy. They, they were slashy mm-hmm. and... Di- okay, kids, we need to get past the, the murder clowns. Stop calling us kids. <sighs> Ash is a full-grown man. I apologize. Um, <sighs> that's, that's all the validation we get. Like, oof. She's so, gonna be a teenage boy with that later. <laughs> oh. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, uh, our research shows uh, that uh, there is a prophecy that this summer, uh, Mrs. Faces, the Hide Behind, and Anathio are going to go berserk and kill everyone here, and the rivers and the lakes will fill with blood. Oh, we were very much assured that prophecies were extremely exaggerated. I 100% here, believe I, in those. I also believe in aliens and, and, and wendigos and, like, Sp- yetis and Loch Ness monsters. Scully's just like, you're, cra- you're as crazy as he is and points to Mulder and, just, you know, they're, none of those things are real. They're and, all so real. And, and You should are, listen to my podcast. There are no anathiels or Mrs. Faces or hide behinds. They're just human killers. Then how do you explain the events? Well, of last yes, summer? they kill humans. That's what we're concerned about. I, I, I am very much a human, and therefore have concerns. Look, anyway, we're gonna keep making our rounds. My advice to you is this, and Mulder gets in close. He says, "I would be prepared to fight those demons if I were you, because well, I... killer clowns or no, when those things come." Something bad's gonna happen. So we know how to defeat them. Fight? We know how to defeat them. We do. We We do. do. uh, Yeah, yeah. I didn't ask for your life story. And on that, Mulder's like, all right, let's go. Are you just gonna leave us here? What about the kid who died in the woods? There's There's a bunch of campers that are just down this trail and would need, you know, FBI protection. I hardly think things like that are the FBI's concern. Uh, and, and, he, and he takes a Scully in on that. He, he turns and, he, and, you know, they head up towards the mess hall. Uh, that leaving is you there. extremely consistent with federal approaches toward jurisdiction. Very true. Rory, open the shed. Um, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Um, it takes, you know, and, and, uh, well, strength. Actually, you have the key. You have the key. Yeah, but remember how the lock's all janky? The the, the, the rock's all rusty, so Rory, why don't you make uh, an instinct roll? Yeah, yeah, make an instinct. Well, yeah, it's like it's a physical action you're trying to Oh, yeah, no, I I have to. No, please Um, continue setting Rory. Instinct roll, you want to roll over your number. You've been been at the camp for a few days now. You've probably done this a couple of times. You can roll two. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a success. Okay. um, Get the weapons. That lock isn't going to work anymore. And yeah, everything's going to happen. You, you, <laughs> you, you are getting the lock. You, you are getting the lock open, and, and, and it's I mean, like it's just spitting. And it's like you're pulling it, so it's, it's taking a long time. And as as you are pulling on it, the two of you, you start to hear these noises in the woods behind you. There's no creepy laughter or anything, but there's just sort of like you know, the crunching of leaves, and you just sort of hear just kind of indescribable sort of. Do you hear that? And I do. Creepy yeah. sounds. Um, none, none of my students would move Manny. around so sloppy Manny. on the leaves. You don't so. hear. And, and, and you're, laughter. you're just pulling on that thing and pulling on that thing. <laughs> and on that, uh, all of a sudden, let's cut. And now we're going to go back in time a couple of days. <laughs> It is just before the camp fills with kids. Ooh, child. Um. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm so excited. In order to feel the hide behind, hide behind, Mrs. Faces. You have been in this area for a while. You were liberated from the bottom of the lake when some hapless child moved the medallion that had kept you trapped there for centuries. Delicious. And uh, hide behind, uh, you have been working these woods for a while, kind of just just trying to be the best monster you can be. You know, you're a very enthusiastic slasher. You're extremely I'm, I'm, creepy. Man, I am just... 
I'm ready to disembowel some kids. Yep. I'm ready to prove people. And 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 Mrs. Faces, you uh, you also have been uh, just thinking about what the best way to use your particular talents to cause mayhem and murder and mischief are going to be, and mm -hmm. that is when. One day, you were each doing your own thing when suddenly you just felt this evil pull, just some powerful evil force just reaching out to you and summoning you, and it, and it pulls you up to this cave high in the mountains, uh, where inside the cave, you know, you, you just, you, you all sort of walk, just kind of just, it's almost irresistible. It's like, it's like one of those cartoon smoke fingers pulling you along, but, but evil instead of the smell of the I chase after Scooby Snack, yeah. And, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, and, and as you go in, just, in, it, there's, there's this big empty cave room. It comes to sort of a cul-de-sac in the room. And there's a fire burning in the middle of it and just shadows everywhere. And you, you hear this, this very deep voice it says, there is a prophecy that this summer the camp lakes will fill with the blood of the dead. <laughs> and you, my children, are going to make that happen. Happen? That sounds absolutely delicious. But first, you have to make sure that you are unstoppable. You know that there is a special weapon that can kill you hide behind. I don't believe that. It is true. What's the special weapon that can kill you? Ooh. That chainsaw. That chainsaw? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. The enchanted chainsaw it cuts down of cover. a day. <laughs> it is here. In the camp. I don't believe that. If it falls into Let the me wrong find hands, it. Your days will be numbered. You you will find it and you will destroy it. And you, you, <sighs> Anathiel, I can already sense a pure hearted warrior is headed this way. <sighs> Delicious. Oh, but it's also your weakness. <laughs> But not if you kill the warrior before the warrior kills you. Freedom! Yes. And Do you... Do you believe that you'll get it this time, Anathia? Mrs. Faces. Yeah. Your gold lies out there in the hills. I will if get every piece of it back. You better. Then he turns and he says, Now go. Now go. Let the lakes fill with their blood. <laughs> his laughter echoes around and sort of deep and rhythmic. And you hear, and, then, and you hear like these almost little sub laughter. Yeah. And as, as you were walking out, he says, uh, I will send my clowns to keep them busy. Do your worst. Sir. Don't have all the fun. Leave some I for do us. calculate that perhaps more than your clowns are what we would need. Could we have something a little bit more? The numbers don't come out just right with only the clowns. So what, what are you asking for? I'm trying to be analytical and cunning, and I want her to... Um, mm, I, want a, I want another monster baddie. Like besides clowns, like maybe critters. A bunny baddie. Maybe, yeah, maybe critters, like the little rolling fur balls that look like they're cute until the little faces come up and they like bite people. Oh, just like an entire, just like country, like a critter nation. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, yes, I want this, but can I, can we do like a quick character thing? I don't mm -hmm. know why you're trying to get out of work, Mrs. Faces. I personally would love to be the one to disembowel those children all by myself. <laughs> oh, and how will you do that when you're hiding behind something? <laughs> Would you like Ooh. to see? Mm -hmm. Oh, go right ahead. <coughs> oh man, is there any people around here? Just take <laughs> down a clown. Yeah, can I take? I was about to just do it for the walls, yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah, after a, you. There's yeah. an evil clown. It's there's an evil clown. Okay, so I want juggling. Okay, so it starts off as there's there's the tree, right? And you see like <laughs> from from your perspective, because like I feel like I am revealing myself to you, uh, like uh like a shadow the hide behind like slips up against the tree and it's um 
It's like one of those things when you like look at it and you think you see something and then it's just a tree. Um, and this clown does not know what is coming towards it. And like it, like it, as it dances, um, I, I like wait for the perfect moment and I make a little sound and the clown turns towards me. And right as that, I like slip out of the shadows and like take this big ass fucking knife and just like right into its forehead. Uh, <laughs> make a instinct roll. Uh, well, no, you're playing like an elaborate trick, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is like an analytical. analytical. Yeah. yeah. You want to roll under your number, your number, oh, here's five. Okay, yeah. so you... You're an expert at murder. This is what you do. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. roll three. Great. Um, that enrolls. Uh, so I got um, under five. Two successes. Uh, one... Yeah, two successes. Two successes. Two successes, yeah. Okay, so it goes down exactly the way you say, and just like, yeah. and the clown's like, doo, 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 yeah. Like, just, literally, <laughs> just like, in its face, and just like, drag it down. Uh, I mean, I would like to well, commence no upon it. Horror, and, horror. Yeah, you commence <laughs> upon the clown. Yeah. Uh, while, while they're doing that, um, I want uh, Mrs. Faces to go into her creepy little purse <laughs> that she has, and pull pulls out what looks to be just like a piece of leather, like a wet, flappy leather, Ooh. and she pulls in. You actually see that it's um, a face, but you can't tell what the face is. And then she stretches it on top of her face um, and appears to be a, a small child. Maybe Jimmy? Oh, and you accuse me of hiding behind things. Okay, <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. <laughs> No wonder he was so good as Macbeth. Jimmy's not yeah. that old. Jimmy is Macbeth. So. Diabolical. Um, okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that you 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 got that on, and uh, um, and he's uh, that the voice you, you hear the voice, and it says, "I will provide help to you when the time is right." Now go. Beautiful. Go forward. I wonder which of us will get it first. I think my brains will be a little bit better than someone else's brawn. I mean, the way I see it. Braun can't hear you. Braun down the yeah. hill already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know how y'all are counting, but looks like I already have one kill in my favor. Braun can't hear you. Braun down the hill Braun already. Down the hill. Let's go, let's go. Where do you think I got this? Beautiful. Got it. <laughs> and then we go. And Are see, both of your guys go. in the ship? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Done. Uh, and you yeah, start heading behind. down the side of the mountain. Um, and yeah, it's it's night. You're, you walk through the woods. It takes a while. And by morning, you are standing in the edge of the woods watching buses pull in, bringing the campers on the first day. Um, um, I'm watching from, uh, like, I want to, like, climb onto the, like, seats and, like, watch through the windows of the buses. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, roll an analytical roll. You want to roll under your number. You can roll. You can roll five. You're a hide behind. Yeah, I can roll five. Oh, oh sorry, you can roll three. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why do you even like question that? The number is five. <laughs> when someone asks if you are a god roll, you say yes. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Three successes, yeah. one old man Jenkins. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah, you absolutely are just invisible behind that thing, peering mm -hmm. out. Nobody sees kind you. And uh, except old man Jenkins who comes walking up right behind you and he's like, ah, oh, hide behind. What are you doing here? Yeah, old man Jenkins, you're going to give away my hiding spot. Don't do it, old man. Fine, fine. You got a question? What's your worst nightmare? M my worst nightmare? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm driving down the freeway and my, my car goes uh, through uh, the, the, the guardrail over the embankment and then just falls forever. That sounds... That, honestly, you have not been scared correctly. <laughs> like, uh, no, ooh, I find that We have been scary. failing you, Mr. Jenkins. Uh, that's my only question. Yeah, no, that's all I got. Let me Very watch these children of, through these windows. Very yeah. afraid of that nightmare. It occurs all the time, keeps yeah. me up. Mrs. Old Man Jenkins, she really doesn't like it. Uh, uh, Mrs. Faces uh, studies <laughs> the <laughs> the crowds of children and like who's clicking together. It looks like who knows who already, yeah. um, and then slips in as Jimmy um, for a, a crowd of kids that didn't seem to know each other well. Sure, there are a couple of kids standing there, and it's like, no, you tell me your name first. No, you tell me your name first. I'm not telling you my I'm name. I'm Jimmy. You tell me your 
And they all look at you and they're like, whoa. Yeah. This is my first time at camp, but it's not going to be a last. I'm going to run this camp one day. Y'all want to be part of my crew? Hmm. Why would we want to be a part of your crew? Because uh, you'll see. I'm going to make myself be the best camper that this camp has ever seen. And if you're my friends, that makes you the best campers too. It just makes logical sense. Hmm. And they turn to each other and quickly get into a huddle. Uh, to discuss it, you, uh, you, you uh, roll an instinct roll. You want to roll over your number. Uh, Darn it, is that instinct? <laughs> yeah, I'm you, trying to be analytical. You can roll. Hey, you were trying to logic that. Uh, you're trying to logic that, but what you're doing now is you're, you're trying to logic. get them to join your, your team. It's like, kind of like a persuasion thing. So, yeah. Um, I got to think like a monster Over your number, you can roll time. three because... Okay. Mrs. Faces does impersonations, that's your thing, so. Okay. Cold rationality converse ice action. I'll do better. Da, 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 da. And there's a there's an art to yeah. being a, a five. Yeah, it's, um, I'm so used to two. It doesn't now. go behind. Oh, right. okay. Um, so I roll oh, wow. under my, under my, under. Uh, you want to roll over your number? <laughs> over um, my number. Then so I got five one or success. success. One success, yeah. So I got one success. Mm, okay, we'll join your crew for now, but the first sign of weakness, we're throwing you under the bus. Absolutely fair. I do the same for you. Excellent. Love it. Uh, and, and, and on that, what uh, are your names? Yeah, um, I'm Billy. This and, and then another one's like, I'm Stevie, and the other one's like, and I'm still not telling you my name. <laughs> uh, and then on that, uh, uh, their counselor walks over and he's like, Hey, uh, I'm Legacy. I'm your counselor. Uh, I'll be uh, babysitting you. What's your name? I'm Jimmy. Nice and to no meet one you, Jimmy. babysits me. I'm a man. <sighs> I admire that. You got the soul of a poet, Jimmy. You should. You should go out for theater or something. I don't know. It's a silly idea. Okay. You know, he's like, don't right. make legacy redeemable in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the bunk. Uh, and uh, he, he sort of starts taking uh, your group and, and heading back to the bunk. Um, yeah, he's what? Yeah, he's bunking his one. He's fraudulent. <laughs> you were still looking through the windows and what are you doing? Um, I am probably hidden away up in a tree and I'm doing the hocus pocus like trying to smell for pure-hearted souls. Okay, that's How's an analytical... Goal? Is that soul? That's an analytical thing. You want to roll under yeah, your... just like... Do you think that should be like a wild, passionate action? I think it's instinct. I think it's instinct. Though I will grant that I have previously uh, called one a super analytical sniffing snoot, so I will accede uh, to this okay. and just be bad at... <sighs> I'm uh, good for it. All right, we'll call it analytics, but you can roll three okay. because, again, it's one success. Do. One success, yeah. You definitely smell the pure heart somewhere among They're those kids. Uh, you don't quite know where, but Easy it is, it is in this crowd. <laughs> um, and 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 you survey. You just keep sniffing, and it's it's it's. It's coming from somewhere, and then suddenly you hear some voices, uh, and you see uh, uh, a very familiar sight, Steve Murderlake, who you know uh, is the proprietor of this camp, with, with three counselors, and he's leading them off towards that weapon shed, you know, where they keep the hoity stuff. Uh, and you, you see that, so you duck back, you know, and try to hide into the shadows. And what are you doing? Right now, I'm going to follow Steve Murderlake. You're going to follow Steve? Okay. Yeah. Um, you roll. Did you get a? No, you you got your old man Jenkins. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I got my old, so man, my old man Jenkins. <laughs> roll. Um. Make an analytics roll. Roll three. You want to roll under your number. Let's see if you stay hidden while you're following. Great. Uh, roll three. Roll under my number. Uh, one success. One success. Okay. Um, you 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 stay mostly hidden, but mm -hmm. you're. You're so sort of like overwhelmed, like, you know, as you get close to that cabin, there's like this, this weird feeling about that shed that they're all standing near, and it kind of freaks you out, and you kind of... You make a noise, and we heard the noise! And you oh. make a noise! Oh. And, and, and Cannon! Yeah! <laughs> I love this. Continuity. And, and you make a noise, and it, and it is kind of heard, and Steve Murray, like, sort of like, when no one else is looking, looks around, and he, he suddenly looks all nervous, he turns back to the kids, like... Well, I gotta get back to my mansion now. Uh, I think you kids are all right. I'm gonna gonna head off here. Uh, 
kind of waves and, and, and he heads off and, and he leaves those uh, those three counselors alone and they're they're kind of they're at the shed kind of looking through stuff and one of them's got um, a bow and uh, is sort of like digging through some arrows. Um, and I ignore that one because it looks incredibly incompetent Aww. and unworthy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would like to try to murder Steve Murder like that. Yeah, me too. That's, that's let's yeah, let's murder, murder together. Murder together. Yeah, yeah. Murder together. <laughs> well, he wasn't answering the phone before. Let's yeah, find no, out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because he's a jerk. Because he's um, fucking dead. He could always dead. get impersonated. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, and he's Steve, dead. Steve Murder like just starts like walking towards his car, and he's like trying to feign like he's walking off all happy, right? Because that's how he was. Jimmy before, steps but out behind just, the bus. Is like I'm lost. Can you help me? Are you my mama? Steve turns, he's like, oh, uh, and he, he kind of looks around, he's like, where are you supposed to be? I'm not sure. And, um, uh, <laughs> Mrs. Faces positions, you know, around to where those two monsters would be yes. able to be, like, behind him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know if I should talk to you, but, I mean, are you a stranger? Uh, okay, make an analytical roll. Uh, you want to roll under your number. You're trying to. You're using your talent to fool him. Um, you're playing a trick. So we'll call this. You can roll three. Uh, you want to roll under your number is five. It's a mask of Mrs. Faces. <laughs> <laughs> the bestest warlock. I love it. Uh, under a five, three successes. Yeah, yeah, and he's just like, all right, all right, I, I, I gotta get out Stranger of here, kid. I, I will I, take I will. you back to your bunk, Stranger okay? And he takes you by the hand and he starts walking back the other way. Um, I'd like to pounce and commence uh, ripping him to pieces. Okay. <laughs> no finesse with this one. Get the job done. But have fun doing it. Always. <laughs> <laughs> And he sees Steve walking along, and he's just like, man, it's like, got a stupid business in the first place. I don't even like kids. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you can roll. That's an instinctual thing for you. It's three. Three die, you can roll over your number. Save the face. Uh, uh, number's two. Two successes. So that's enough to save the face, actually. One success, yeah. I would not have remembered to save the face. <laughs> I would like to see like my friend, my friend. <laughs> oh yeah, your uh, your my, my professional party. colleague. Yeah, 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 my professional colleague doing this in like a parking lot and being like, no finesse with this one. And I would like to drag Steve Murder Lake's dead body um, behind like or dying body. He's probably just yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Stuff. I'm like um, behind. I got it. Behind, 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 behind like a. Um, like one of just the buildings of the camp, uh, maybe like an office or something. I don't know, but behind the amphitheater, behind the amphitheater, we're let's there do that. Macbeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do uh, that. Sure. Uh, um, Mrs. Faces we're gonna handle it. very calmly it's gonna be yeah, and yeah. surgically yeah, um, uses her fingernails to remove the face. Okay. okay. Um, can we can we save it till we drag him out of the? Let's oh yeah. Not do no, I mean after after, after the amphitheater. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but no, I say that to you in character. Oh, as, as oh. Well. It's just behind. Like, this is, your face. This is uh, an instinctual thing. You're like physically dragging, right? Yeah. So it's like you want to. Uh, you can roll. You're a monster. You can roll two. You want to roll uh, over your number. Your number five. Five. I'll, 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 I'll establish that I actually have pieces of him, like still in my mouth. Like I have a. I'm working on a thigh here. Yeah, that makes sense. So you can also roll an instinct roll. You want to roll over your number. You can also roll two. Have uh, have an assist. Yeah. I also got a Jenkins, but uh, I got two man Jenkins. Then. Okay, uh, so that absolutely works, and, and, and you just, you know, swoop him off to behind the amphitheater, um, and we'll, we will get back to your face in a second. Uh, but while, while you're right there behind the amphitheater, you, you find old man Jenkins, he's sitting there, and he's uh -huh. drinking, you know? Yeah. Um, so old man Jenkins, uh, he, he looks over to you, and he's like, ah, hide behind again. Uh, you got another question? <laughs> yeah, uh, how do I be the best monster? How do you be the hmm. best monster? Well, I don't think he can answer that, since I'm the best monster. So the is the answer kill Mrs. Faces? Ooh. <laughs> I would say killing Mrs. Faces would certainly prove you're a better monster than Mrs. Faces. Uh, whether it proves you're the best monster, I don't know. You might have to kill all the monsters for that. Or maybe just the biggest, baddest of the monsters. <laughs> but... I don't know. I approve of anything that leads to killing. You Giving know that. Giving me a lot to think about there, old man Jenkins. So, you know, just out of curiosity, how do we kill our boss? 
Your boss is susceptible to electrocution. Huh. Ooh. What's that? Sparky, sparky, boom, boom. <sighs> Uh, it's like, ah, find a more private place to drink, and he sort of heads off and... Wait, didn't you have two? I did, I did. How do I kill... How do I beat the best monster? Oh, yeah. How do I kill our boss? Yep. So he heads off, and you now can make a... Let's call it an analytical roll to take the face off. You can roll five. Right. Uh, roll to the face. Your number's five, you can roll three. Yeah, roll to the face. Yep. That's See, happening. we always talk about the skins we have of lasers and feelings. So that's anything under my number? It all comes together. All comes together. Uh, yeah, that well, is all comes uh, apart now. three successes. One of them's a Jenkins. Oh, yeah, so you absolutely remove that. There's face. a whole ritual that goes in there. It's very creepy. Yeah. It's very creepy. It takes I want to take. Yeah. I kill like three squirrels in the interim because I just get <laughs> bored. Yeah. Have, you, have you eaten the rest of the body? Uh, uh, like, what is the state of the, yeah, what's going on there? Of the guts specifically? Uh, the guts are not interfered. Okay, with, beautiful. Uh, very much after the heart. Okay, very, very heart oh. focused. Okay, great. Because I would like to take the guts and like just like you know decorate the back of the stage with them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> absolutely. You, can, you can do that. Sure, um, you, can. you spend you know some yeah. time in the woods yeah. feasting on the body. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. you practice your Steve uh, okay, Murder Lake practice. impression. Uh, oh, yeah, you, yeah, exactly. It's, yep. You're, you're all getting ready, uh, and, and and then you hear this voice. You know, it's, it's the voice of your boss just echoing through your head. It's just enough of this foolishness. Destroy the weapons, and and and, and he sort of reaches out and he says, "We have to do this fast." give you more power. Oh, it says, if the fates <laughs> demand it. Uh, and, and, and suddenly, this magic eight ball pops into existence right in front of you. Uh, and you, you have to ask the magic eight ball if you can evolve. Oh, shit. And then you have to shake it and let me know what it says. <laughs> Without a doubt. Oh, oh what up? up? Uh, yeah, you're, you're going to evolve, hide behind. Yes, um, I am. And, Better be uh, the best fucking monster out there. <gasps> you, you pass the magic eight ball over to a nephew. Mm -hmm. uh, and you pass the magic eight ball over to Mrs. Faces. Don't mess this up. Ask again later. Oh! Right. You can do it now. The hubris. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's asking you. Very. Very. Probable. Very probable. It's. It's weird because it's on this. It just sided. Oh, is the die <laughs> cocked? Basically. Yeah. Oh, the die cocked. <laughs> Uh, it says, very doubtful. Oh, but oh, it caught. No. I could have been reading the other side. Uh, all right. <laughs> One more shot. One more okay. shot. Hey, best out of three. Best out of three, of course. <laughs> Outlook, not so good. Yeah, sorry, Mrs. Faces. The magic does not work for you, but you do have this nice new Steve Murder it, Lake. Oh. Uh, nope, Hide behind, yeah. like, um, creeps up did. to you and, like, cackles in your face. Uh, and as you cackle, suddenly... You just start to vanish as you realize now you can become totally invisible. Uh, and you also grow a foot and uh, pick in a couple of new characteristics. What would you like? Fangs? A horn? What do you mm, want? Can... Oh, fangs sounds real nice. Um, especially for that disemboweling. It's like basically putting... Yeah, I, I want like two like knives for teeth, essentially. Yeah, yeah. like two giant knives just like yeah. grow out of your yeah, incisors, like literally just like you know butcher kind of like butcher knife Beautiful. style, <laughs> serrated edges yeah. and stuff. Uh, and uh, you, uh, no, Nathiel, actually, I know what I want. Oh, Can I? Okay. Sorry, yes. I want I want a jaw that unhinges. Yeah, yeah, oh, nice. Just like one of those like ones that like drops down and like just rows and rows of teeth. Okay. That's what I want. You Very absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Love nice. it. Okay, great. Anathiel, you get uh, your your nose grows like enormously, and your sense of smell like improves like uh, like a hundredfold. And suddenly, the smell of that warrior pure of heart seems much clearer now. Uh, and you you also get some bub bubs. What, what would you like? Long limbs for grabbing, strong legs for leaping. 
Okay, absolutely. Yeah. Um, we're, we're really going with like the leopard like kind of sure. strats here. Drag things up into trees, that kind of shit. Yeah, you can have like really long, like almost yeah. stretchy arms that like you can, you know, shoot out in front of you. And, and, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Um, Mrs. And, Faces sniffs and goes, uh, I'm, I'm already in my final form. <laughs> Is that as, as good as it gets then? It's Shame. More, it's more than enough for what you Let's go. All right. Um, yeah, and, uh, it's, you, you have been out in the woods, you've been eating, feasting on the body, and, uh... So I've been decorating the back uh, of the theater. Been on cake. You've been decorating the back yeah, of the Yeah, you theater. do, but you always have something in your teeth. <laughs> yeah, I've been decorating the backstage area. Okay, so, so what, how would you like to approach this now? Um... I mean, I would like to go look for the weapons. You like yeah. to go look for the yeah, weapons? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. definitely a thing that I am interested in doing. So maybe looking for, like, also keeping an eye out for things that could electrocute certain people. Um, okay, yeah. so for you, yeah. make an analytics roll. Yeah. Uh, you want to roll under your number, uh -huh. hide behind. You can roll... You can roll three. Okay. Uh, you got your bump up, and you've got some time. You're going to spend a couple of days and nights searching the camp for this... This uh, the magic chain, uh, the magic chain, uh, the enchanted chainsaw of Ajante. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, you are going to, yeah, um, you're going to go looking for that and keep an eye out for for electrical sources. Yeah. Um. Uh, one old man Jenkins, three successes. Okay, so yeah, absolutely. Um, you spend some time invisible roaming around the camp, and you notice that there is uh, this uh, neurotic acting instructor who seems to be toting around uh, the enchanted chainsaw. And just like for a piece of flavoring, I think that like over these days, like as I am invisible, I think I just like leave little scratches on children with my new teeth because I like <laughs> want to like try them out. And so, yeah, so just kids, like, start getting scratches, and no one knows where they right. came I'm, from. I'm sure it's just, you know, running around. Yeah. Children are children. Yeah. They really should be much more safe on the archery range. Yeah. Oh, but, like, yeah. kids wake up with, like, scratches. Yes, yeah, so we have a quick cutaway to yeah. some kids coming up to your, uh, to Ash and just being like, we have these weird scratches on us, and Ash is just like, you know, uh, walk it off, kids. Walk it off, kids. Have some dirt on it. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, you're 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 going around. You're getting a little blood here, a little blood there. Mm -hmm. the, the, the the rain of blood is beginning, um, and yeah, you find that there is this neurotic acting instructor Ash who is toting around the enchanted chainsaw uh, for some sort of play or something like that. You you, you don't quite it's so get loud. It. Um, and uh, uh, you also notice that uh, the power lines that. Uh, you know, provide power to the camp, uh, mm. you know, they come, you know, the camp is kind of in the middle of nowhere, so they sort of mm. come across the mountains, uh, you know, on these you know, telephone poles, kind of, yeah. um, and, and so they so they sort of run <laughs> through the woods up the side of the hill and then Got over it. the other side. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and, and what are you doing? Murder. Murder. Like, um, at least, like, three murders. At least three murders? <laughs> yes. Okay. There were more counselors. Yeah, oh, there were a ton more counselors, uh, and, and, and what we will say There's is... There's a reason we're only focusing on these three. Yeah. <laughs> it's because if you pay attention to the extras, there are fewer and fewer yeah. over the course of the shoot. They got murdered. Would, would you uh, like to describe a couple of those murders real quick? Um, no. Okay, well, I will say <laughs> a, a, a boat full of kids, uh, counselors rowing them out to the middle of the lake and just being like, hey, we're going to go, we're going to fish, and it's going to be a nice day, we're going to spend some time. Uh, when suddenly it's like the, the boat starts to turn and it's like a whirlpool opened up beneath them and they're just like, as you like pull them down right under the water and just devour them. And like sort of like Jaws style, like the lake starts to turn red with the blood and, and, and you know. And... But did you save any of the faces? The faces. <sighs> Tasty! <laughs> and yeah, some of the counselors think that's peculiar, but. Um, this is happen. Yeah, you know, it's like. You know, a, sometimes kids get homesick, they leave early in the session. Right, you, you overhear some conversations. Do you think that murder like stuff's happening again? <laughs> so it's like, nah, nah, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, and, At and, that point, both yes, of the, the two interlocutors are yes. swiped up into the tree, and we just hear. <laughs> Exploded, yeah, Into and it's heart. like, and, and they're just <laughs> dripping their gas down, down, out of the tree. Mm -hmm. Um, and and you're, and you're, I'm also smelling that. for for the pure heart. So make that roll. Yep. That is going yep. to be it's an instinctual roll. Yep. Uh, you can roll over your number. Uh, you can roll three now because you got your evolution. Oh. Uh, 
uh, your number is two. You're trying yeah. to roll over your number. That would be three successes. Three successes. Hey, who's pure of heart? Yeah, you absolutely uh, start sniffing around, and you notice that there oh, is this geeky little archery instructor uh, who strikes you uh, as kind of a coward. The other kids don't seem to respect them, uh, don't seem to like them very much, and, and, and they don't they don't they don't seem very formidable to you. You you don't you don't really feel afraid at all. So So I see that one and I see that one talking to the swim instructor. <laughs> I assume it's the swim instructor. I'm going to kill her later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. It's um, definitely not this puny little kid. It's definitely the one I'm looking for. The one I need to murder is this swim instructor. Um, definitely the right person. And, and yeah, and, and, and you feel that way, but then, you know, you, you, you start hearing this voice in your head that just keeps pointing you back at that kid. And, uh, and yeah, you can, you can wrestle with that a little bit uh, as, as, you're, as you're trying to, you know, cognitive dissonance, who to, who to kill next. Anything with cognitive uh, and, and, and Mrs. Faces, <laughs> you were shocked to find that you got the lead role in Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, what are you up to during these days? Uh, okay. you, um, well, uh, during the day, uh, Mrs. Faces, as Jimmy is um, calmly and rationally figuring out uh, the relationships between everybody and how to uh, tweak them. Killer. Yeah, okay. to, to um, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, to, uh, you know, know everybody's weaknesses and everything like that. Um, also manages to get some of the kids that, you know, the, the less popular kids that are always shy and always stay in their cabins Kills a couple of them, obviously. Hey, um, obviously. During the day, takes their faces. I tell you what, but at night, uh -huh. um, she is uh, Stephen uh, Murder Lake and has a map of the full, you know, camp area and has systematically, as Stephen Murder Lake, been trying to find um, the lost gold mine that has the, you know, her, the last bit of her treasure in it. Okay. Um... That's an analytics role. Roll okay. This is there's a couple roles. First, for your for your murder spree during the day, roll an instinct roll. You want to roll Based. over your number. You can roll three. Okay. Um, it's uh, it is analytical. You want to roll uh, over your number because over. you're yeah. Oh, Just, sorry. Analytically, you want to roll. Uh, oh wait, what did I say? Uh, this is the murder roll. Sorry, it's instinct. You want to roll over your number. So yeah, okay. it's over. It's fine. Even though it's like serial killer and it's not it's not passionate. It's cold. I mean, she's a uh, she's she's a Dexter type when it comes to killing people. She's not uh, okay. I buy that. Yeah. Um, you can roll under your that number. That was pointed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you Literally. were chewing on thighs like. <laughs> I don't sound like that. <laughs> okay, so that's three that's successes. Like that. One of them is a five. Did I get my Jenkins from earlier? When okay. I did the I the roll for the face. Oh, did you cutting off Stephen Murderlake's face? I don't think I got my uh, Jenkins. Oh, okay. So you you're yeah. telling those kids, uh, old man Jenkins pops up in the window. Are you got any questions? Uh, yes. Um, is there any other pure gold um, in this camp besides what's in the lost gold mine? Uh, pure gold? No. Pure gold, very hard to come by. I mean, you know, very valuable, soft, hard to handle. It's oh, like, I know. I yeah. make sure that it's nowhere near me. Just the stuff in that lost mine, wherever it might be. And, okay, uh, so my second question, off. since I didn't have oh, one, yeah, sure. one from before, where's the lost one? Where's the lost mine? Um, the lost mine is uh, in a cave that's up in the hills. So at this cold Very creepy cave. Uh, and, you know, they got this cul-de-sac. I don't know. Mm. Weird. And, and he's like, uh, on that, he sort of wanders out and, and just, you know, disappears into the night. And, uh, yeah, you rolled three successes, so your murder spree goes so fantastic. <laughs> oh, my God. You kill a whole bunch of kids. 
Uh, and, and, and in fact, you do so well. One day you're killing a bunch of kids, uh, and this counselor, uh, this guy, uh, Legacy Evans, walks in and catches you, and you kill him too, and you get his we face get all right, awesome. buddy! Yeah, so now it's like you're playing a third role. It's like, you know, you're Jimmy, <laughs> you're Legacy, you're Steve. It's like, you know, you're, you're just dividing up your time, fooling everybody, killing people. Like, it's just rocking for you. Uh, and now you make an analytical roll. Uh, you can roll... You can roll one. You got to roll under your number. Uh, your number is um, uh, five. Mm -hmm. This is for Steve looking around for the lost gold mine. Um, oh, no, wait. But you yeah, already Jenkins, know where it is. Jenkins told you. Jenkins told you. So you don't even have to make this roll. Uh, you mm -hmm. just know where the lost gold mine is. Yes. Jenkins told you. And, and as Steve, you sort of confirm that it is, you know, you go check it out. It is that cave where, you know, your mysterious boss called you uh, and, and, and mm -hmm. you know, He's brought you and, and, and told you to go out and, and kill. Um, I think that I want maybe Mez's faces to take that gold and hide it in the safest place that she thinks would be the safest none place. None of the humans would ever, ever find definitely for sure. Exactly. Definitely. I think that Mrs. Faces um, thinks it over very, very carefully and thinks that nobody would ever go into Legacy Evans' um, <laughs> cabin because... You know, oh, that's would, ain't that the truth? Would never go in You there. have his face now. You know how much you just... It's a yeah, fantastic it's like, chin. <laughs> it's like nobody with self-respect should. That is true. The poetry is horrible. That is true. <laughs> nobody with self-respect <laughs> would ever. So I think she's going to take that gold from the last gold mine and hide it in Legacy Evans. You're going to hide it in Legacy no, Evans' cabin. Um, okay, so you're going to go into the lost gold mine. Um, and we, you, you walk in there and you go down the, the tunnel and you come to this cul-de-sac where before there was that fire, uh, and you look around. Why don't you make an analytics roll? You can roll two. You want to roll under your number. Um, wow. Uh, only there. one success. The yeah. other one was over my number. No. Okay. Yeah. One success. One you, success. You look around Let's and, uh, yeah, you, you find the gold. And you find, you know, you look around and there there looks like there's uh, strange like vines and stuff growing on the walls of this cave that were not there the last time you were there. But you take the this gold. Is killer. I don't like this at all. And you successfully hide it back at uh, at, at Steve Murderlake's place. Okay. Um and yeah, and and, and then <sighs> uh, Legacy Evans. Yeah. Legacy Evans. Legacy place. Evans Cabin. Legacy Evans Cabin. Sorry, yeah, right. Yeah, you you had it back at Legacy Evans Cabins, um, and uh, so you've got your gold, um, and it is in that cabin. And you have determined uh, that uh, the enchanted chainsaw of Ajante is in the possession of Ash, uh, the uh, neurotic acting instructor. Yeah. And you have been wrestling with cognitive dissonance over whether to kill um, uh, Jimmy or to kill. And by Jimmy, of course. We mean Rory. We mean Rory. Yeah. Um, uh, she's Jimmy now. Uh, oh, she's Jimmy now. Yeah, oh, yeah. So wait, you, you were deliberating between killing Rory and killing Well, I assumed it Kelly. couldn't possibly be Rory, so oh, it Kelly. Must, Kelly. I must Kelly. have gotten the smells mixed up because they're standing right next to each other, and it's Kelly, and I'll have to kill Kelly first. Right. No. Um, Just rip her head right off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you, 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 you sort of put that out Good into mom. the world. Uh, you, 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 are, you, you are stalking Kelly, uh, and, but before you can get close, uh, you can see the boss's killer clowns just run ahead of you uh, and, and uh, actually rip the head. Since her death happened off camera, can I try to kill snipe them? Do, do you want to try and kill snipe them? Yeah. Just because yeah. it won't disrupt continuity. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Uh, close enough. Kill, 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 kill. Sure, <laughs> it, uh, um, unclear Death editing. Kill. Uh, <laughs> we'll call, okay, so Purposefully kill, obscured you, editing to, to mislead. We'll call it instinctual. You can roll over your number. Your number is two. You can roll three. I do three murders. Yeah. So that clown is, like, trying to pull the head off, oh. and you just come in and just, like, come, yeah. <laughs> right, and, and and the clown's like, thank you, and then just and I go for the heart, and I just sort of like drop that head, and the clown can probably go for the head now. And and the clown picks up the head and is holding it, and you just you fly off with that heart, and as you as you as you're feasting on this heart, uh, you you you're bothered because 
You can you can still smell the pure heart. It, it's out there somewhere, and and, and, and you realize it, it must be the archery instructor. Skinny, puny, kill. This totally explains why Legacy didn't want to give up that notebook. Yeah. And, and and the three of you, uh, you, you start getting your, your getting your act together as uh, you can hear the, the counselors filing all the kids up into the mess hall. I want to follow Ash for this part. You want to follow Ash for yeah. this part? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, make an uh, analytical roll. You can roll three. Uh, you can roll on your number. So specifically, yeah, I want to follow them like into the mess hall as well. Like... Yeah. You're, you're invisible. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, Thank that's you. analytical. You can roll five. Uh, no, nope, five roll five. You can roll... Oh, I keep doing that tonight. Yep, you, whatever he says. Your number is five. You can roll three. <laughs> it's rolls. Um, okay, so I'm rolling above my number, below my number. Uh, uh, under your number. Okay, so I got... Uh, Two successes, one old man Jenkins. Oh okay, yeah, so you absolutely pull it off. You you infiltrate uh, and um, yeah, old man Jenkins is there and he's like, uh, yeah, what can I tell you? Oh, Ooh, old man Robert Jenkins, good to hear from you. Um, I guess my question for you is, huh, huh, huh. Uh, what are the other points? No, oh, yeah, I kind of already know that. What's the best way to redirect that? power of mm. those cables yes focus well those cables are old and rickety if you rip one of them down i'm sure it'll stay alive great if only now we had a ripping machine <laughs> gone. Um, uh, great uh so i uh, yeah i want to follow ash um, but like the specific reason I want to follow, like to the point I want to like keep following Ash to is because I want to hear that password of death. Mm. Um, well, you succeeded. Uh, yeah. You had two successes. So full success, you invisibly followed uh, him. And yeah, I will say that you heard the password. Great. Um, so yeah, mm. and uh, you got that password. And now the Disney sneaksters. <laughs> you come back to tell your friends about the password, yep. but you see that uh, three of those counselors are headed back to that shed, including mm -hmm. Ash, who has got the enchanted chainsaw yep, I see in that. the company of Rory, the pure heart. <laughs> and they are also uh, with um, Lily. Uh, I'm just saying there's a lot to be done here. Folks, kill, kill, yeah. password is death. And wow, there's death so much kill. more to kill. Death, kill. I well done. I do believe that what we should do is infiltrate their little group. So I did invite that one Lily to come back to my place as legacy. Huh? I think there I should go. wear her face well. Well, what I'm going to say is, uh, you tail them up towards that cabin, and you're sitting in the woods watching from a distance as Rory wrestles with this lock trying to get it off. I want to be watching, actually, from the roof. I want to, like, climb up from the rooftop, yeah. turn up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you are yeah. right up on the roof watching. Yeah, just you like are just peering in the woods over the edge. Sight. You are also just sort of nearby, ready mm -hmm. to swap in. And this is right where we left off, I right? like that we have... Like, sewn up both uh, the demise of both sides. Oh, yeah. So well. <laughs> yeah. Like, you invited them back to the place with the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, really fast. Everybody roll a d6. If you roll a two, uh, an even number, a two, a four, or a six, you're going to play the rest of the game as a human. If you roll a, a, a one, a three, or a five, you are going to finish the game as your monster. Wow. You can do this, buddy. Oh, my God. Buddy. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, God. I don't even know which side to pick. I don't even know which side to pick either. Oh, no. I'm going to throw up. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Wow. Let's see. I'm a human. You're a human. Oh, oh, fucking wow. die. Kill. Wow. Kill, kill, kill. I love I love the separation Gosh. too. Yeah. Table separation. Table separation. And, and you Rory is separate. wrestling with that thing and you start to hear the sound in the woods behind you and you're you're looking and and, and you know, you know it's it's pretty dark out there, uh and, and, and just you got this bad feeling. It really seems unnatural. 
and, 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 and the sound in the woods. She's like, uh, God, will you be quiet? Come on, Rory, open up the thing. I'm sorry, I'm walking hey, on it, I'm walking I on it. I not say that to my lady love. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, okay, I forgot you had the right. Yes. Okay. I feel protective of her. <laughs> right, she'd be like, don't you worry, I've got this, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> okay. Just as soon as I get this lock open. And, and, and you're pulling on that, and let's start with, uh, um, and that. Well, no, you yeah. were right on top of the thing. Yeah. So let's start with the hide behind. Uh, as as Rory is pulling on this lock, trying to get it open, what would you like to do? I would like to slide down the side of the front side of this um, uh, shed, obviously invisible. Um, I want to like go right up to Ash and like you know like watch his face and just like stay there for a few seconds. Um, pick some invisible, like let my jaw hinge, and I just like want to like. It's still in invisible form, like start just like chewing at his chest. So it just like looks like there's an invisible, like his chest just like bursts open. Yes! And it's just an invisible this, force going at it. This is why we brought Rave on the yeah. show. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Eating people's chests while they're while invisible. Yeah. And these are my hiring criteria. <laughs> okay, that is Always. going to be an analytical roll. Uh, you can roll three. You want to roll under your number. Your number is five. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna like watch for a few seconds though. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're toying with it. Uh, okay, depends on how many successes. Uh, okay, so three successes, one old man Jenkins. I kind of want to like flicker in and out as well mm. as this happens. Just so you, like Ash sees me as the light fades out of his eyes. Uh, you know, just sees this, you know. Okay. Gaunt creature. Uh, but I'm gonna make you reroll two of your successes. Oh, dragon lady. Uh, okay. Do I have to? Okay, fine. What no, they call I'm, I'm keeping. I'm keeping old man Jenkins. Sure. Um, okay. So now I have a total of two successes and one old man Jenkins. Okay. No wait. Uh, under my number. Uh, it is yeah under your. No. Number. Oh yeah, three successes then one old man Jenkins. <laughs> Fuck you, dragon Fuck lady. Fuck you, dragon lady. Fine. <laughs> uh, my so, uh, yeah, you were about to do this when old man Jenkins goes passing through the woods in the background and you just hear him yell, uh, you got any more questions? Oh, old man Jenkins, not the time. Um, <laughs> let me think. Uh, old man Jenkins? Yes. Uh, what car, what kind of car do you drive? <laughs> the one that goes through the... Yeah, yeah, which, which is your so car much. in the parking lot? The Buick Skylark. Beautiful. That's all I want to know. <laughs> I wanna, I'm going to cut Old Man Jenkins' brakes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Stop Excellent. making me love you. Excellent. <laughs> never stop. And never old stop. Man Jenkins disappears like Old the Man Jenkins, never stop. <laughs> and you do exactly what you said. You kind of flicker in now, yeah. and then all of a sudden just like chomp down. Chomp. But, on, it's, on but when I chomp, it's invisible, so his chest does burst, and everyone gets a beautiful Well, you're flickering in and out, so everybody can see you. Yes, exactly. Like, I want to yeah. be like... Fucking horror. But and like, you see that shit. Yeah. Um, Lily does not have her, her bow staff uh, collapsed right now. Well, she has it collapsed, but as Ash is screaming with the chest starting to explode out, she grabs the chainsaw that's in his hand and swings it up, um, mm. smacking this flickering thing. That is I love it. right there. Good, good, okay. good, good, good. Yeah, that okay. chainsaw has no gas, but you can smack, so that's great. So yeah. it's like, I like that. chainsaw is a baseball bat at this point. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. razor-edged okay. baseball right. bat. Yeah. We're going to call that instinctual since you're reacting it's just in the like, moment. <gasps> um, you're a dance instructor. Yeah, you, she, you've got your physical knows, prowess. You could, right, but like it's all in the heat of the moment. Let's say you can roll two. You want to roll over your it's number. It's very instinctual and passionate. This is the very, and she's daring. This is the aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fair enough. And no one can help you because <laughs> they're monsters. Oh, <laughs> we are monsters. I mean, Ash is also, you know, bleeding out, and Rory wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> Rory totally wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so. We have a group of stuff. Oh, great. Uh, so two successes. Two successes, yeah, absolutely. You get that, and you just. You, you push it up and you and the, the, the the blade the, the chain of the chainsaw was like swipes like right across yeah. you uh, and it cuts you in a way that sort of like now suddenly like you start like bleeding it's like a, it's not quite fatal but okay, it's okay, like okay. you can't turn invisible anymore oh nice okay. fatal. Uh, so fatal I just see this thing 
with there? its jaw unhinged. Yes, like with its jaw t- unhinged oh. and standing there. And you but I've realize, obviously heard it. Yeah, it's 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 hurt, and and, okay. and you react. You know that hurts okay. you a lot yeah, yeah, because yeah. that thing can kill yeah. it. Okay, uh, cool. I mean, I'm gonna go hide behind it then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. So that's my. Can I react to that, or do they get a turn first? Uh, they can get a turn yeah, while okay. you're sort of writhing in pain. Yeah, right? I mean, I'm very distracted by the chest bursts, which means that there's easy access to a heart that I want to rip out of the chest and then eat. I know this isn't the heart I'm supposed to go after, but like a heart in hand is worth two in a chest. Okay. Um. They do say that. Well, yeah, because going after Time Lords is really hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, so you're just trying to, like, eat the heart. I'm, I'm just, just, yeah. Yeah, I'm, that's what you use your turn for. I'm, I'm just going to say you can have it. Um, uh, oh, But, like, Lord. while you're doing that, like, Rory is just scared <laughs> as hell and just Dude. starts to try and run trips. It gets up and trips again, gets up and starts to run trips again. Uh, Did the shed open? Uh, the shed, yeah, yeah. You look over and the lock is, like, actually hanging open. Rory did um, what do you want to... How, what's your reaction here? Okay, so my reaction is to uh, uh, try to take the chainsaw and flee. Yeah, valid. Try and take the chainsaw and flee. Okay, um, you can try that. Why don't we call that... Uh, call that a instinctual roll. You want to roll over your number, you're injured, you can roll one. <laughs> But aren't you happy we saved the rerolls for the monsters? Yeah, I actually really am. And there, there you, you go. go. That, and the monsters. I think we should focus on the important things here. <laughs> oh, wow, I rolled the same thing. I'm going to try one more, and then if not... Yeah, and then you have to take it. Yeah, then I have to take it. Nope. All right. All doesn't right. work. Chains out doesn't yeah. still play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. You, 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 you grab for it, uh-huh. but, like, you're just, you're too injured, and, and, and you just kind of can't. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do? Well, um, I was going to run, but now since I saw that yeah. the monster was trying to grab for it and it obviously hurt it, yeah. um, I go full, you know, yeah. whole go, history go, go. of dance behind, you know, Lily Everhart with this <laughs> chainsaw. And like I did before with the machetes, I go to town on this huge monster yeah. with unhinged thing with that chainsaw. Okay, let's call that instinctual. You want to roll over your number, you can roll two. Okay. Uh, I'm just saying with the with the machetes and stuff before, didn't I roll three? It's like, why would this be different? Uh, because of heavy weapon versus light weapon. Finesse. I, I was think just she's say... pretty stock. Well, I pictured her stocky, but that's just me. You know what? It's like... I'll give you the third one if we yeah. said machetes before. I I, I buy that was yeah. like, safe because you were like afraid and you know, but it's like I guess you know, just just go for it. Emboldened to yeah. murder, do it. Uh, yeah, it's three successes. So yeah, yeah. you absolutely, Buddy, just, I'm down. You, know, you take yeah. that thing and you hit it and just like bring it down like right into that chest wound that was already there from the last time, and you like push it and you hear like this thing just like shriek and scream. <laughs> That's sound like make. that, uh, and yeah, you just like you you can just feel your blood draining out of you, writhing on the ground. You're just clawing Ooh. around for yeah. dear life. I'm definitely taking swipes at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Take an instinct roll. You want to roll over your number. You can roll one. Wait, yeah, no, you're... No. five old man Jenkins. Old man oh, Jenkins. Absolutely. Okay, so in right route. For uh, as you are rolling r- 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 around, you can just you hear old man Jenkins just from the background. It's just like uh, before you die, do you have a question? <laughs> yeah, if I'm gonna deliver, what is the most impactful blow to deliver on this person who is killing me right now? Like, uh, where do I hit? I-, I would say go for the jugular. Jugular. It is. All right. right. Thanks, old man Jenkins. Always a lifesaver. You go for the jugular, but you only had one success because yeah. you only had one die. Yeah. So if you get this like puncture, like this claw. Uh, you know, your, your teeth, your, your teeth, you're using your teeth. So the, the, the tooth kind of like scrapes along the side and you're like kind of bleeding from your neck now. And it's, you know, definitely going to inhibit your physical movement, but, uh, you're not dead. Um, you are just very, very injured. You, on the are other dead. hand, as you deliver yeah. that squeal and your lifeblood drains out as you just fall down and die. Beautiful. Um, you are holding, like, your neck as, as blood is gushing out of it. You are just about done devouring that heart. What would you like to do? Um, uh, you are, well, you're now, you, you are, I'm an you are an yeah. now. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> and, so many characters. Yeah. So, kind of a flashback. Uh, 
We've Wait, established what? Anathiel's easily distracted. They know they need to go after Rory. But blood, blood was just yes. shed. Yes. And so they're going to turn their back on the ranged weapon user and go after the person who's spilling blood. So you're going I'm, after... I, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I sure hope nothing shoots me in the back. <laughs> okay, uh, Anathiel, uh, that is instinctual for you. Yep. You are not injured right now or nope. anything, so you want to roll over your number. You pull yep. three. Uh, only two successes. Two successes. Uh, uh, hey, you know, it's murder. Yeah. There we are, old man Jenkins. <laughs> okay, so that is three successes. Uh, old man Jenkins, uh, seeing this unfold, is like, Hey, Anathiel, you, you got any questions? In these final moments of death, is there anything that Rory could do to possibly defeat me right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in these Sorry. final moments of death, is there anything that Rory can do to possibly defeat you? Um, yeah, if Rory shoots you through the heart with an arrow... Um, and, uh, you just fly through the air and you land <laughs> and you <just laughs> dig into that neck wound, just like oh. chewing and eating and drinking the blood. <clears throat> and then, you know, from behind you, you just hear someone just like, get, get, get away. And, 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 and as you turn, you see that, 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 that weak, cowardly looking little English been... Uh, thing, thing, <laughs> yeah, English thing, English thing, <laughs> squaring up to to shoot you, you know, and 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 for a second you're a little afraid, but uh, let's see, uh, the the arrow looses. Let's see if you can dodge it. That's an instinct roll. You want to roll uh, over your number. You can roll one because you uh, have your had your back turned. It's all very surprising. Um. It was a... Uh, Instinct, you want to roll over your over number. number. Your number is two. That was one. You do not succeed. Do I, do I want to? Yeah. No, wait. Yeah, 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 you do. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Always do the thing. Because I'm going to get... There's there's my number. No, not in the air. Oh, yeah. Last game. There's my yeah. number. Oh, man. I fuck you, Dragon Lighting. Yeah. <laughs> Very good try, though. Can I do any of mine? <laughs> um, you know, this was Dodge versus Rory. I'm sort of assuming that I Rory's gonna get at least one more shot at me. Yeah, that was Dodge versus Rory, right? Like you, you this uh, was completing murder. Okay, what I'm gonna say is right. Yeah, you, uh, you dodge the arrow, <gasps> but uh, the arrow shoots and like hits you like in the shoulder. Okay. Um, you, you are you, you are pinned. Blood is gushing out of you. You can you you can sort of feel the life draining out of you very quickly. Uh, and 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 then you you hear sorry. Uh, and and, and 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 you look up and things are starting to get cloudy. Yeah. In the can I um, use? Can I do any action here? Or? Yeah, I'll give you. Yeah, what what would you like to do with your possibly last moments? Okay. Well, pull one of the machetes that has the ribbon on it. Try to. Wrap it around my neck to staunch the blow, and then nice. also uh, jam the machete part into the head okay. of what's on me. I'm gonna say you you're not gonna have enough time to do the the staunch the thing. This is this All is right. gonna be a dying moment action. So you're gonna see if you can kill the thing in your dying moment. Uh, well, you, here, uh, I'll make you choose. You can save, try and save yourself, or try and kill uh, an Athiel. Uh, try to save myself. Try to save yourself. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. So that's that's yes. if you can tie the thing around your neck. We're gonna call this analytics. It's a conversation action. You're trying that's to. That's not conversation. Is this? It's, it's really hard to do. It is. Uh, it, you just choke yourself out on the run. Yeah. You want to roll under Maybe. your number? You can roll one die. All right. Jugulars don't bleed that much. Go for the carotid kid. It's it's a pro I move. You. Okay. That arterial. Use yeah. Use uh, those. Yeah. You absolutely use can. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Use another one. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a raid. Use Thank another you. one. Hey, Daddy Warbucks, thank you for the raid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. I haven't used any. No, Dick. I have not used no, a single valid. reroll. No, valid. <laughs> no. Wow, this is... Because all of these are passionate actions, which is yep. what I'm really good at. Yeah, I love it. Um, and there you go. There's yeah, your number. Yay. Wow. Jenkins. 
That so is a Jenkins. with one left. So yeah, you're you're you're, you're you just kind of just tie it up enough, and it and and the bleeding is stopping enough, and 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 as Anathia was sort of turned around and distracted, you managed to back off a little bit, and old man Jenkins standing right behind you. Was like, uh, do you have any questions? Um, how can I save myself? I'm afraid it's too late for that. Uh, you've lost way too much blood. Uh, at this point, I would say, uh, you know. Okay, then can I ask a different question? <laughs> if, if that was just like, you can't. Nah. <laughs> yeah. that, that that was your answer. You can't shave yourself. Um, and and okay. on that, uh, mm -hmm. old man Jenkins uh, he starts, starts to try to drag you uh, into the woods away from the fray. Uh, oh man, Jenkins! And, and as that is happening, to his car uh, with the brakes <laughs> cut. cut. <laughs> yeah, and now he's gonna turn around at the thing that went for it, and is going to leap, and Rory's going to shoot. Okay, let's do it. Um, this is an instinctual roll. You want to roll yeah. over your number? Yeah. Okay. You yeah. do not get stabbed from behind, so you are still not injured. You can roll three. Uh, this accounts for both actions. Just All right. The whole success of the whole thing. I want to roll for Rory, and I want to roll for Anathiel, so they might both succeed, one of them might succeed, one of them might fail, but they're doing their thing. Okay. Yeah. And I'm also going to put out there, there is no way Mrs. Faces would not have gotten involved with this. All right, so that's... Uh... Mrs. Faces, we will we, we'll say, uh, is, 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 is otherwise Which, occupied so, for a moment. Two versus three. Oh, man. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. So, Anathiel leaps into the air and it is clear that Rory's done for. There's absolutely no way out of this. And in a panic, Rory releases the bowstring and it goes right into Anathiel's chest. Two successes for Anathiel, three for Rory. So Anathiel will pounce on Rory but will also be destroyed. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was not exactly how I was picturing that, but you know what? That all works great. Uh, yeah. you know, I was going to make it one roll for both, but like, yeah, no, that's I fine. Love it. Um, yeah. yeah, so Anathiel, yeah, goes down screaming, and there, yeah! Rory is standing, uh, you know, holding the bow and, and looking for another arrow, like frightened, uh, and, 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 and then, you know, it tur tur turns around uh, and, and, and sees, you know, um, uh, uh, sees Kelly. Well, Standing there. No, oh, I was gonna say. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yes! 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 Sure. Yes. Sees Kelly standing there. This is the um, trash I come here for. <laughs> <laughs> the season finale. Let's go. Um and uh, yeah and 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 Kelly uh, is uh, just uh, um, has this kind of uh, this this green pal to her now. Uh, and, and, and skin kind of has this like gr green sort of going up the arms uh, and, and, and she sort of walks towards you and, and, and you see that like her, her feet don't quite look like feet they're, they're more like vines and like as her, her hands reach out they're, they're also very kind of viney uh, and, 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 and they sort of like shoot at you uh, but okay Anathiel you are dead yeah uh, um, Anathiel uh, Ash is dead hide behind is dead, dead. Um, so, uh, Lily, Lily's bleeding Rory, out. Yep. uh, and Mrs. Faces, uh, you are there when suddenly it's like, uh, this, 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 this whole bunch of, uh, of dead kind of plant people come at you and, and, and they start disintegrating and turning into this mess of vines and, and then behind it, rolling in, uh, uh, from behind it is this big, gigantic, uh, Venus flytrap thing and it's Whoa. like laughing Venus. and cackling. Uh, and it says, I said the rivers would run red with blood. Uh, and, and, and all of a sudden, uh, like, well, we will say, because we're getting close here, it, it uh, breaks into a huge, amazingly entertaining choreographed version of Mean Green Mother from Outer Space. Yeah. <laughs> Revealing itself as Audrey II, uh, the, the, the space <laughs> yeah. plant who gathered all the evil to make the, the plants run red with blood, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to make the, the, uh, the, the camp run red with blood to feed the plant. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and and as it rolls through the woods, I will say, uh, Rory um, and Mrs. Faces, uh, and uh, um, uh, who's the third one? Lily. Lily. Uh, uh, you three have 
You each get one move to react to Audrey too. Uh, we will say you are outside the cabin. You have the chainsaw, you have uh, the, the bows and arrows, and I will say that there is an electrical line within sight distance. <laughs> Lily gurgles. I've seen this movie. <laughs> uh, uses the last of her strength to toss the chainsaw up at the electrical line. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah, do it. That's great. Yeah. Um, that is, uh, that's that's passionate action. Uh, well, you're tossing it at the electrical line. I guess that's an analytical, like a precise thing you're trying to do. Cool. So you want to roll under your number, uh, your number, uh, oh, your number is two. Yeah. All right. You know what? This is you the can, same roll that it was before. You can you can throw it right. You can you can throw it as uh, uh, you know the chainsaw right as as instinctual. Um, yeah. But but you roll one because okay. you're, you're really. Yay three. Yeah, and that absolutely works. And uh, that's that's a single success so to success with consequence. So the, the chainsaw goes up. It cuts the thing. The electrical wire comes yes. down. It hits you. Yeah. I am afraid you are electrocuted. But yeah. the chain the, the wire is down and Mrs. Faces and Rory. You just see it sparkling there as. As uh, I will say, like the, the plant starts uh, shooting vines at you. Um, yeah. So did it? Did the big bad like take over Mrs. Face's body, like with vines and stuff? Oh no! M m yeah, uh, the, the big bad was restraining Mrs. Face's with the vines. Oh, that's um, not cool. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Really. That is why Mrs. Face's that was would not tick involved. Mrs. Face's in... off. Yeah. yeah. And now Mrs. Face's face is off. wrestling with the vines. What happened? Tampons. Tampons. They'll leave their they'll leave their comments in the chat. <laughs> Register in chat so I can find out what's happening. Um, yeah, so Mrs. Faces, you are wrestling with the vines. Rory, you are um on the ground. I'm going to shoot uh to pin the live wire to the deadly plant blaster. Okay. That is an analytical, precise shot. You want to roll under your number. I'm your finally number shooting at a non-moving target. Love it. I yeah, know how to do human. that. Yeah. It's not a human. Yep. You can this roll is, three. This is what Rory does. I can actually do the thing. I... I actually do the thing. Three successes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you shoot the arrow and it goes Yay. into the plant. Yes. It totally pins that arrow to the side of the plant and just little shot of horror style, the whole plant electrocutes and the whole big, oh shit, and just like explodes. <laughs> and goes flying everywhere. Love that and, part. And, and, the power of sorry of uh, no, that's, no that that's oh that was Rory don't worry I thought that was <laughs> you're good. Good. no no you're, definitely Rory your acting is really great <laughs> um, yeah so and and on that like uh yeah it totally explodes and the force of the explosion absolutely just kills uh, Mrs. Oh, Faces no. who is I I wanted it to be like she's she walks out as Kelly is like thank you for saving me. And then just like, you know. I'll tell you what, I'll let you roll to see if you survive. Okay. Let's make um, uh, let's make an instinct roll. You want to roll over your number, you can roll two. Okay, so this is a Mrs. Faces? This is a Mrs. Faces roll. Okay. Uh, so see, see if you can break three of the vines before the explosion happens and get out of this. All right, I believe in you. Um, well, Mrs. Faces is analytical, yeah. so... Uh, w it would be under her? It's an instinct roll, so you want to roll uh, over your number, your number is five. Okay, this is last roll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. four. And this is the last game, so. Yeah, yeah, season finale. Six! Oh, yeah. Wow! All right. Yeah, you wiggle free just as that thing explodes. Uh, uh, Rory, do you want to try and make a survival roll? Uh, I was at range. I was shooting with the bow. Yeah, she oh, was. You're shooting with a bow. I mean, they were. Sure, I'll say you're far enough away to yeah. not take it by the explosion. I mean, it's a pretty no, good No, but play. it's, it's uh, now. Kelly is coming at No 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 oh, no, no, no 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 Kelly but to Rory like I'm so glad that you found me <laughs> one of those monsters took over my body and <laughs> then one of the other monsters it was this beast like thing killed that monster thinking it was me. That's <laughs> Terrible. I was trapped in the woods and all I could think about was you, Rory. But but Kelly's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Uh, two successes. Two successes. <laughs> <laughs> you put that arrow straight through Mrs. Faces. Uh, and then from behind you, you're Mrs. like, uh, oh my god! And you turn around, and there's Mulder and Scully, guns drawn. They're like, drop it! Drop the bow! Oh! Drop the bow! Okay, okay, okay. Get oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! And, and, and can, we, can we say that it was your special arrow that was tipped with gold? Yes! Perfect! <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Because we were, we were talking about that earlier. No. Well, you hid the gold. So what I was oh, going to say oh, right. was that <laughs> Never mind, you I take are it back. dragged <laughs> off by Mulder and Scully kicking yeah. and screaming something about crazy monsters and stuff. And, <gasps> and even Mulder's just like, ah, oh, Scully, even I don't fall for every one of these things. Uh, and and, and, and oh, uh, no. as that happens, you get up off of the ground and you pull <laughs> the arrow out of yourself and you walk back into the woods. To go find Lily. <laughs> to and, go and, and says... <laughs> According to plan. <laughs> Proving yourself the best monster. Oh, man. And on that, the credits roll, and we will, uh, we, we will, I don't know, I guess if we ever see these people again, it will be in Camp Murder, uh, yeah. ca Camp uh, We're going to have to rebrand yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got to rebrand. We got to rebrand. Yeah. So, Burger pond. Yeah. But I bet you Steve will be there. <laughs> Steve, Steve could. Steve, Steve will, Steve will be, be there. there. Thank yeah. you so much. This was so this much fun. This was so This was ridiculous. And I thank love. you so much. Oh my God, y'all have been so incredible wow. with us all season. Yeah. Um, next week is vast. We have a whole slew of people coming for a that. A vast that. slate yeah. of performers. Yeah. Um, I will be tweeting <laughs> about that all week. Uh, if you yes. find out, I mean, uh, yeah. who's going to be there. Um, the, it stars Jackson Lansing and Sam Gillette and Max Isaacson. Mm -hmm. And it's got a whole bunch of vast guest stars in it. And uh, it should be pretty great. That's next Sunday at 5 p.m. Um, real quick, let's go around the table. Tell the good folks where they can find you. Uh, the underscore ring tea at twitter.com. Um, oh, oh. I'm supposed to say this. Yes, you are. Friends. Yes, you freaking are. No, you. I, uh, I think you're, you're a champion of the earth. Okay, no, that's she's a, a champion thing. of the earth. Go no. check out her Twitter about how she's amazing. No, let's do that. Do it. Yeah, do it now. But love and support. She got a screenwriting fellowship uh, from Austin Film Festival. But I'm supposed to say, I'm ah. supposed to say, friends. Uh, the uh, Garnet Laser Brass Strath might uh, be flying again soon. So uh, check oh. this space. Uh, for some more possible Starfinder. Exciting. Um, but also, if you want to bring it. Oh, yeah. Also, running fellowship like a freaking champion. Exactly thanks. like a freaking champion, because she is a freaking champion, and the world is correctly recognizing it. Um, oh, so, so congratulations. Thank you. Beer, 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 beer. And so, basking in the reflected glory of gravity over here, I'm Sam DeLeb. You can find me on Twitter at Chaikovsky, C H A I K O V. S-K-Y. You can catch me um, on Mondays on Plunders and Blunders, the D&D &D podcast that I do alongside uh, Tempting Fate regular, who was going to be playing Kelly, Gina DeVivo. Uh, you can also see the season finale of Callisto 6 uh, this Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. What PBT. is Callisto 6? Gotta find out at the finale. It'll be super, super exciting. <laughs> I'm Markeia McCarty. You can find me at Markeia McCarty, Twitter and Instagram. And uh, Mondays, we're almost at the end of uh, 10 Candles. We are halfway through the finale because there were 10 volumes with those 10 candles. Um, we are we are in space. It's an event horizon type of spaceship because we have reached Phobos, maybe, and uh, it's fighting back. So Love all of that is happening. Um, so see that. That's Mondays, uh, 6 p.m. PT, and that is on Hyper RPG's Twitch. And uh, watch Fangirling. That's every Thursday. Uh, we have a new episode. We cover pop culture subjects, um, and that plays on Alpha, Nerdist.com, and also Facebook. So that's new. You can just catch it out there. And then, of course, uh, DC Universe. I'm one of the hosts of DC Daily. And that is Monday through Friday. And it's uh, in the midst of Halloween. I very much recommend you watching the Halloween episode, which will be playing soon because it's almost Halloween. That's just, those were words. I just said words. Um, but yeah, go ahead and see that. And yeah, uh, this is my last one for the season for uh, mm. Tempting Fate. Yeah, so same. This was, mm. same. This was super fun. This was oh so much fun, Rex. So much fun. Thank you, Rex. Oh, no, thank this you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. I really oh, enjoyed I am this. I'm super lucky with the people I get to play with. Uh, thank yeah. you all. Um, Where can we find you to find out more about the stuff you do and also when we'll have more Tempting Fate? Oh, uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at rbud913, or you can follow the show at Tempting Fate RPG, uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram. 
Um, and we'll be back here next week with Vast. Sam will be here with all the Vast okay. guest stars. It should be a ton of fun. Um, and then after that, I think we'll be taking about eight weeks off, and then probably we'll be back in very early January, just after New Year's, um, with the next season. Um, many of these people might be here. Things might be a little bit different. I uh, have some plans. We're going to figure yeah. things out. Um, but we will definitely be back. And... Uh, super super grateful for everything y'all have done for us all season this has just been so great and we love our community we love you so much um and you know yeah i guess on behalf of everybody and behalf of gina DeVivo, uh thank you for attempting thank you good night